Okay, here we are. Uh, I've actually been pretty excited about this. I know someone did recommend this game to me. Was it? Who was it again? Someone on, on Discord recommended this game to me, but... The thing is, I've actually been watching this game for a while. I saw it first on Itch.io, and I thought the premise was really, really cool. Um, I wanted to go in blind for this, because... It, it's just one of those games where you can't really explain what kind of game it is. Because it's so, like, different, I guess? Well, I mean, it's not different. It's a visual novel, pretty much. But the way that they, like, tell their story, supposedly, is going to be very interesting. Uh, let's see. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone did recommend this to me. I think it was Noah? 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 But I've seen a few people actually, like, cover this game. Uh, on YouTube and there was like the demo version but this this is the full release and I have no idea what to expect for this apart from the fact that uh, apparently everyone here is extremely untrustworthy <laughs> like yeah basically everyone is just super sus so thanks for being first Zoe and thanks for clocking in Zoe, Fef, Feta, and Hubi glad you guys could drop by uh, he must be on the skibbity to look I'm not gonna <laughs> You guys can say what you want, no matter what you say, no matter no matter how much you want to push this skibbity thing, I know f in, like for a fact you guys are just like 100% projecting, so say what you want. Barrel, not now. I'm watching a 3 hour Star Wars lore video. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been there. I can't- I literally cannot function when I'm at work. If I- if I'm not listening to like a 5 hour video essay at work, um, I'm just- I'm just completely brain dead. I understand, okay? I- I get it. <laughs> but right now, it's not time for Star Wars lore, it's time for, um, very creepy princesses who probably we shouldn't trust? Question? Question mark? And thanks for clocking in, Narchia. Where's your first- yeah, heck, I can't believe that you guys actually managed to, um, wrestle first away from, like, the usual- the usual suspects. Sleepy space, that's what Beryl is in. It's actually really nice, I like the music for this. I also like the, uh... I like the way that they do their illustrations, I guess. The illustration style. I think it fits very well for what the game is going for. The usual suspect is cheating. How's that? How are they cheating? Actually, no, you know what? You're right. They probably, you know what they do probably? They probably just like camp on the, they camp on the uh, stream until I announce the stream and then when it's near it, they just, they just click on it immediately. It's like a preemptive start, you know? Also, thanks for, thanks for the follow third PT. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. You all smell that? Yeah, that's the sm that's the gamer smell. That's the smell of us actually trying to, to do things proper. So hi, Semper. Thanks for clocking in. Yeah, we can get a mini FOMO. I actually need one. I'm, I'm gonna need some emotional support. I'm pretty sure before, before uh, everything, <laughs> before shit hits the fan. I know for a fact shit will hit the fan. It's just a matter of when, you know. The smell of stinky gaming demon. Um, no. As usual, I always shower before I stream and right when I get home. A proper fumo? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. We'll we'll be we will be our knights and our uh, what do the knights call their like uh, protégés? Like not their apprentices. They they have like an, a certain name for their uh, for like their apprentices. They're, I forgot what it was. Squire. That was it. Okay, I will be the knights and the fumo here will be our squire. Alright, I think we're ready. I mean, look at that. You can, Look at that face. You can't- that is not- that is not a face that you can't distrust. You can't dislike, okay? You gotta- there's absolutely no ulterior motives happening. Which face? Um, yes. <laughs> and thanks for clocking in to your session in, Sheila. Thanks for dropping by, guys. I appreciate it. I think this game literally just came- hold on, when did it- hold on. Mm, I kinda wanna check. It came out uh, on the 23rd, so I think it came out literally yesterday. So yeah, this game is hot off the presses, pretty much. Well, apart from the fact that it was on Ichio and the, uh, and the, uh, and the demos and everything. Was painting while well, it's too VOD with Kirby siblings. <laughs> yeah, that's the new hotness right now. Everyone- Everyone absolutely loves the questionable relationship sibling game. 
I only played chapter one of that. I really have to play the second part. For some reason, that game like really took off on on well on my YouTube at least. I think that's like my, my most popular VOD right now. <laughs> uh, all all things considered, not surprising. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of crazy how much, like how much this series is taking off. I mean, it's just kind of funny because it is like the most questionable like the mat. It has the most questionable themes out of like all the. Out of all the horror games I feel like I've played so far, except for like maybe like one, except for maybe like Saki Sanabashi. But other than that, all the Madara girls love it. It's kind of th see the thing is people are like, oh, you know, it's the in it's the yeah, I'm just gonna, it's the incest game, yeah, where you play as the brother. But it's not really true because you literally play as the as the sister in that game. But yeah, we'll we'll continue playing that later. Uh, if not this week, then maybe this weekend. But right now, we gotta we gotta save or slay the princess whatever whatever works taboo cell simple as yeah they just like the idea that like you know it's not supposed to be proper so it's like oh, okay we we gotta dig it we're, we're digging it manhara yeah manhara means uh i think it was like the shorthand version of mental mental health like but in like japanese like there's a specific word for it or like a specific definition for it but that's like the base that's like the base uh Definition. Among the most conspicuous is the emergence of Menhera, a portmanteau of mental healther girls. That was it. Mental healther, but you know, they can't really. You, you know, it doesn't sound cool like with pure English, so you just kind of like shorthand it with like Japanese, and that's that's what Menhera is. Alright. Let's get into it. Chapter 1. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Why is a princess in a cabin? I know my voice is fucking saying, holy shit. After, I'll be honest, after doing the, uh, <laughs> the uh, coffin game, my voice was so fucking dead at the end of that. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad, thankfully, that this is both narrated and narrated pretty decently. But again, I don't understand why she why is there a princess in a cabin? Wouldn't they normally be in a <laughs> in a tower or a castle? Towers are passe. Cabins <laughs> cabins are the newest trend, and she just got tired of it. She's a uh, she's being hipster and everything. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh. But why? Aren't you? Aren't? Wait. Okay. I'm. I'm assuming I'm like a. I, okay. I'm saving a princess, so I have to be like a knight or or some like knight equivalent. But aren't you normally supposed to like actually save princesses? Question mark. So hi, Charlie. Thanks for dropping by. Wait. 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 I can. I can reason with the narrator. Actual schizo pro tag. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the narrator is the pro tag. I think, I think I'm my own person, and then the narrator is someone else entirely. Uh, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end up be the world and the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Oh, this is a lot. Oh my God! What the fuck? Huh? Wait. I actually covered the option. Oh shit! You're right. Hold on. Thanks for thanks for the thanks for that. Uh, yeah, I'll move the I'll move you guys for a second. I think you guys will be on the left side of the of the uh, screen for this stream. Let me give me a sec. Uh, go over here. Maybe I should move to the should I move to the left side? I, maybe I should. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll move to the left side too. No! Don't look. My my sword and shield being left behind. Uh oh no, it's gonna cover though. Hmm. It's fine. I'll do this. Hmm. Then. This will do. Probably about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this this can work. Why not? Sure, this can work. <laughs> it's fake? No, I got- it's not fake. I got it at the- I got the dollar store. Bring the sword down a bit. 
Oh shoot, the Fumo, you're right. Gotta make sure the Fumo's in... Our squire is intact. Okay. This should be good. Hopefully they don't like switch it around. I'll be really pissed off if like they do that thing where they just like, it's on the right side, now it's on the left side, and it keeps on switching back and forth. I really hope they don't though. Yeah, the mini FOMO, we can't leave them behind. Um, I just don't I just don't want to block anything, you know? Um, I like right here. Also, this seems kind of big, doesn't it? Hold on. I'll try to... Oh, shoot. No! Uh, I'll try to make this a bit smaller. There we go. Now you should be able to see everything. I got it from the back of a phone. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a discount. It was in a discount bin. It was like in a... That discount bin was kind of smelling. It had a lot of trash bags in it for some reason, but I left five bucks in there, so, you know, it, it, I, I didn't steal it. So... Can we just leave? <laughs> Is this an option? If I if I leave, turn around and leave... Wait, no. It'll end the world, though, won't it? Mm. Turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to... Turn around and leave. <laughs> Do you even know where you're going? I mean, I can just go the back the way I came, right? Uh. Oh my god. Let's go see. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a dawn, of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. I mean, hey, I'm, what if I'm a nihilist? What if I just... What, what if this is the way of the world? This is just how things have to end. Like, all things have to end, right? Yeah, it's not my problem. Why... Why did... What if I just wanted to go for a walk, right? What if I'm just a literally random Joe Schmo? And I was going for a walk, and then I got the voice in my head telling me I gotta s kill a princess. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't really seem right. Summon Fumo? Hmm... We already have the Fumo summoned, actually, Ziona. But I'll give you the choice. Do you want the Fumo to stay, or do you want to remove the Fumo? But it means we can't watch Barrel anymore. Don't worry, all things are fleeting. If it was here forever, then we won't be able to appreciate as much as if it became ethereal. You know? Huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, why not? I don't see anything wrong with that. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Yes, actually. Better to wash yes. our hands of this wait, whole situation. Wait, 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 wait. This is actually, in. this is right. You know, you know the whole, uh, you know the whole thing with the train trolley? Hold on. Let me go a bit smaller so I don't, like, block the, block the text. Okay. And then, get this a bit smaller. There we go. So, you, you guys know about that one, that one, uh, that one problem with the train trolley right if you if you if able to move that would be great move the fumo oh to the, like the other side oh you want to move him to the other shoulder okay now yeah, give me a sec damn it's been a while since i actually moved him uh all right you can go right here i will need you as my emotional support angel so that you know when we do when we start doing questionable things uh, I can look for you. I can look to you, Squire, for advice. So I think for the practice boss compliments, redeem Zoe. Uh, let me see. Hey, boss. I finally got around to killing that princess you always wanted to do. So, you know, you never really told me how I was supposed to kill kill the princess, but you know, because of the fact that if the world ends. I'd say that she also would die too because she's part of the world. So you know, I, I think I did my job properly. So if any, you know, if you want to, I'm not saying you have to, but I did put in that promotion uh, application if you'd like to take a look at it because I did technically follow your directions, you know. And I know how much you love for me to, you know, follow your directions as my higher up. Good hell yeah, I've got a promotion to look forward to. Uh, I think that if we participate Ignore that annoying in this, little voice. he doesn't know what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, you're right. Wait, wait. This guy's actually so right. What the fuck? So what I was basically saying is that you know the trolley situation, the trolley problem. If you're you see a trolley, right, going down two different, uh, and it was going down one path, and there is a lever on the path. And right now, if the trolley 
keeps barreling toward the path. It'll kill three people. But if you pull the trolley, it'll go to a different path where it only kills one person. So technically, I... Technically, if you don't do anything, yes, three people would die. But even if you weren't there, people would die regardless, right? And that's sort of what I'm going for right now. You know, it's not my problem. Stink vaccine the back, movie. Fine, we'll change the fucking stink vaccine, stupid. <laughs> Alright, at least I get to remove this. And... Alright, it's, it's done. <laughs> Multi-track drifting. The trolley to increase your KDA. Yeah, you're right. I gotta go for the UAV. Flip coin, leave decision, the chance. You're still, even if you use, if you, even if you leave the choice up to chance, that is still your choice. You're still making a choice regardless. That's strange. It looks like this huh? path also leads to the cabin. Huh? How convenient. Everything's Excuse back me? on track again. Maybe the world can still be this guy, after all. This guy's fucking trolling. This guy's fucking troll. <laughs> God damn it. I knew it. It's not gonna be, of course it wouldn't be that easy, right? <laughs> Uh, can I just go around again? Turn around again and leave again. Is this... You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? I... It's remarkably selfish, it's... if you ask me. Not... I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. Huh? If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. I, I fail to see... Forever. How that's my problem. You get away another hero. I was only... I literally just came across this path, and now you're saying, oh, if you don't do something extremely morally dubious, like killing this random girl in the cabin, it's not, it, like, you know, everyone's gonna die. Well, it sucks to suck, right? You are part of the everyone, though? Yeah, so? <laughs> maybe, maybe the world deserves to, you know, hit the restart button. We, we you know, the world is... It could be doing a bit better. Maybe if we just start it like a PC, you know, we'll, we'll fix everything. You know, I've I've had TVs before and they fix themselves, right? I'll be just like that. Also, thank you for the clock in, Ziona. Yeah, it's never it's never too late to clock in. Mr. Narrator, it's nighttime. I'm sleepy. Look, if we don't do our job regardless, if we don't do something, um, I don't think we'll be waking up tomorrow, man. <laughs> uh, oh, I like this. Ooh, ooh, this is also really good. Everyone should die. Mm. Good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. When I, I said agree. everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. I think you're trying to, like, emotionally manipulate. Yeah, right, Gaslight Simmons. This guy is definitely fucking emotionally manipulating me right now. And, last I checked, you're part of everyone too, so if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. Uh, actually, do you have any proof that this would actually end the world? Like, you are literally just a random nobody, you have no proof of this. For all you know, for all I know, you could be just trying to make me kill a random girl in the cabin for your own means so that I would get blamed for it, so, you know, I, I disagree. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Gaslighting is a myth and you're crazy if you believe in it. <laughs> Isn't- something tells me this is a bit familiar. Kill a random girl based? I mean, it's either kill a girl or everyone dies. There's no really a- there's no winning answer here. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my you're god. Cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation. Something tells me that you princess. are, like, in control of this story, and you're gonna make me choose to... Hey, I can be extremely spiteful, huh? Oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Yeah, like, even if I don't kill the girl, she's still gonna die regardless, right? I mean, there's no, this is zero-sum, like, game. Like, you're just, I, I don't get what you're trying to make me do. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe you don't want to, are you maybe you're the one that's scared of dying right i mean i'm i'm like whatever that girl down there she's gonna die regardless right maybe you want someone to save you huh maybe it's not the princess that needs saving can we romance the princess um i read in the description for the game that it is not a very wise choice to romance the princess which means it's probably an option and here we go as you trudge into the woods something strange starts to happen oh oh at first it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes wait what's that noise glimpses of wait wait this music wooden structures through the leaves wait this music i don't like this music oh i don't like that oh oh i don't like that oh thanks for the thank you for the follow blue Luxium fans appreciate it but huh? as you focus oh, on shit. your surroundings you start to realize that those flickers oh weren't just uh, a trick of light. Uh, In every direction, uh, there is a path uh, and a cabin. And not did, just a cabin. Did we break the story? The cabin. An infinite fractal of paths. I don't need to cabins. kill every princess. Yes, the world ends and she dies regardless. Every single place. copy of her that exists in multiple planes. Wait, what's going on? Wait, I'm voiced? Wait, the hero has a voice? Excuse me? We must go deeper? Well, what if I just keep on rejecting it? You're too stubborn for that, Wait, aren't you? Huh? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins are uh, You're being extremely you. spiteful right whatever now. Whatever you can to shirk your responsibility, because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Yeah, but you're also doing the same. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. That's not my problem. I fail to see how that's my problem. You lose track oh, of just oh, how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Um. That's fine. Oh, what? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, excuse me? Wait. Wait. You're on a path in the woods. Chapter 2. And at the end of that path is a Wait, cabin. Wait, what? And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Uh, the music is not good. Wait, and that wasn't there before. Do it again? I did it? Uh, something, hold on. Something, something's not right. I think I threw the story off rails. That is definitely a fence in the back. A fence? Did I throw the story off track? You know, the other thing that I saw in this game was that apparently there is no wrong answer in this game. You can troll the narrator as much as you'd like to, but trolling the narrator is still an option, right? So <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. This is the path we chose. So hey Ganya, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good time playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Did you manage to win a lot or were they a bit too too OP? Their cards their decks were too OP. If they were too OP, you should definitely report them. <laughs> but hi, I think hello raiders. Hi, I'm Beryl. I am a lazy ass demon. RP RPG? I'm a lazy ass demon who usually plays RPGs and horror games, and right now, we're currently playing Slay the Princess, a game where you are tasked with killing a princess in a basement, but I don't feel like doing that, so we're gonna see what happens right now. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, I fail to see how that's my problem again. Wait. Wait, huh? I'm getting- wait! I'm aware? Wait! I'm getting- hasn't this happened already before? You aren't kidding, she actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? But I died? The whole world died? What am I doing here? Those walls weren't here last time? This music is, like, kinda not- helping me uh she actually i'll go with this one i guess you weren't kidding she actually ended the world last time didn't she what the hell is she last time last time. last i checked there wasn't any wait last time 
Huh? I just met you earlier. Maybe you did? Yeah, lots of wins and then beat Pikachu and beat the snot of me many times. <laughs> All you win some, you lose some. Well, if you've been streaming for a while, you know, if you want to take a break, if you want to get some food or water, I totally understand that. So yeah, thanks for clocking in. I believe we have, what do they call it, ripple-proof memory, I think it was called? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Wait, what? Wait! Wait, the voice of the hero is someone else? What's this about? This is a game where you, you're supposed to kill a princess, and um, we just refused to kill the princess, and now I think we're... I think we're in a time loop. So there's three different characters now. There's the princess, I'm assuming. There's the narrator, and no, there's four. The princess, the narrator, the voice of the hero, and then there's me. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. What? He's like a captive audience. Contrarian? Wait, what? How many, vo Wait, how many voices do I have? The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else what? he can do to ruin his day. Wait, that's the same person. It, he's voiced by the same person, but the contrarian, I guess the contrarian and the hero are like our our inner voice? Oh my god, yeah, maybe maybe I am actually already schizo. So you're right. I need I need glasses. I need I need to think hard about this. Thanks for the redeem. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. I mean, we already ended the world once, right? I don't think... I don't think you can ruin people's day worse than that. I can't distinguish between the narrator. I don't think... I, do I sound like the narrator? There's no way. There's no way. Also, thanks for that follow again. Thank you, thank you. Jump the fence? I'll see if it gives me the option to. The world really did end last time, didn't it? Wait. We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Wait, what? Wait, so the hero... The voice of the hero is, is aware of the time loop? The world hasn't ended yet, and you are never going to slay her Don't with that attitude. What? Stop those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Wait, okay, so the narrator doesn't know what's happening, I think. We are our own person, and the contrarian and the hero voices are aware of what's happening. Maybe that's like the voice... Maybe that's our, our, our like, our subconscious, I guess? Stuff those pathetic little- so he's aware of the voices, though. What? How many people- dude, how many people are aware of, like, each other in this story? Those walls weren't here last time? Those walls weren't here last time? You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, huh? someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Uh, so the the world reset, and now these walls were apparently always kind of here. Although, thanks for clocking in, Vortis. Yeah, we can hydrate and unshrimp right now. I kind of need to. I'm kind of, my brain's kind of getting too big, like exploding right now from what's happening right now because it's kind of hard to keep track of what's happening. Uh. I would... Let's go lie. Yep, okay. Heading to the cabin right now where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, <laughs> right? Please take this seriously. Also, thanks I for the big. follow, Otaku Kenshin. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Of course the narrator can hear our shoulder angel and devil. They're kind of in the same space. The narrator should be omni omniscient, right? But how come he's not aware of the own time loops in his own story? A warning before you go any further. So I wonder if we. Okay, I'm assuming that we died, right? And then the story reset. That's why it's chapter two. Does that mean the walls would have been here whether we died from the princess or something else entirely? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. <sighs> Fine, I guess we'll commit to killing. This random girl in the cabin, in the basement, that we've never met before. You're not really giving me a choice here. Ugh. 
Yeah, there's there's at least six characters, and someone is definitely railroading us, and it's probably the narrator. No, don't do it. I have no choice here. I mean, I can do, I can try doing something besides killing her, right? I can just talk to her, maybe. I haven't even talked to her yet, so. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Wait, maybe wait, she wait, wait. Isn't a liar. Wait, 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 wait. I'm assuming this voice of the country. Okay, I'm assuming. Okay, this is what I'm assuming is gonna happen. Last last run, there was no voice of the hero or voice of the contrarian. But now these guys will probably put their two own two cents in, so that we can probably get more context for what's going on. Most likely, yeah. It can't be. You're actually you're right. Maybe it's not the narrator. It's someone else entirely. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Ooh, my my. I'm the devil on my shoulder. I guess. Let's keep an open mind. They're all the same voice. There was a voice of the hero? Oh shit, you're right, there was a voice of the hero. They only appear like near the later half of the of the game, right? It's probably a flag system with every other VN. Well, I mean, yeah, every this is a VN, obviously, but we're talking within the term within the context of the story. Yeah, we're, we're, there's no choice. We can't escape. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many oh. cabin interiors all projected across what's almost the yep. same space. The story's fucked up. It's all shifted. I kind of want to see what would have happened if we just went normally. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Romance her anyway? Warnings were written by the narrator and should be re disregarded. Shit, you're right. The The description on the Steam page was most definitely written by the narrator because it told us to kill the princess. And the narrator has been told, telling us non-stop to kill the princess. So he probably wrote the description on the Steam page. That's really cool. I like that effect. The only furniture of They're all the same voice because it's like a single person it's reading a storybook type wrong deal. Lengths. It's material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, I'm a pacifist. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it. Oh, I like that. I like that idea. This guy, this guy, I like it a lot. I like this guy's way of thinking. Good as a knife against a world-ending monstrosity, anyway. That's true. What if this girl can supposedly end the world? Something tells me that it's probably not in our best interest to just go up to her and stab her. No, we're taking the knife seen this place. We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea yeah, what we're dealing with. Yeah, the, I, the whole idea of not knowing what to expect apart from some eldritch monstrosity that can end the world at an instant tells me that you probably shouldn't piss her off and going in there with a knife, brandishing a knife, probably isn't such a good idea. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? If she was just a princess, why can't you kill her, huh? Why hasn't anyone else killed her? Maybe you're overthinking this. Just go in and kill the princess. Too many infection. <laughs> We're just in and out like that. You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. Okay, I, I am like 99% sure that these voices, like putting in their own two cents, were not there before in the first chapter if you just played it normally. Yeah, princess of what exactly? Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide no, you through your no. job, which is to slay the princess and through no. that action, save the entire world. You are being extremely not objective. What are you talking about? He, he literally just made us break the entire dimension of the world, like, last, last run, because of the fact that we didn't follow his directions. He is not being objective. You are definitely trying to gaslight me. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. The image starts shuddering? This one? Like this? Yeah, this is what happens when I move around the cursor. It like looks like a mishmash of stuff. Yeah, it's like uh, the foreground and the background are like moving around. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. I'll lose myself. What's gonna happen if we lose ourselves? Is that what he said? Oh, I can't even go back up. Reap no history. Now lose yourself before you even get to her. So is that an option? I could technically lose what's going to- I'm like, I can go insane basically? Nothing 
because you're going to pull yourself together. I don't know, is this also a fact or are you just trying to suggest the fact that I'm going to pull myself together? Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. I don't know, dimensions are kind of breaking. I would be not in a good mindset to like kill a random girl in the basement that I've never met before if I can't even get a hold of reality. If this is even real or not. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly right? describing it to us. This is literally like the third voice in my head, like the objective, non-objective voice in my head telling me that, you know, we, we have to kill someone, which is probably not a good idea, regardless. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. What, what's his job? Okay, I know what the narrator's job is. You're not doing a good job of it, but I know what you're supposed to do. I don't know what the voice of the hero or the voice of the contrarian are supposed to do. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. I'm like 99% sure I am already insane. I have three voices in my head, and reality is just turning into spaghetti. What you're saying yeah, I like the is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Contrarian, you're being like logical. I don't like that. You, for someone who's like supposed to be super chaotic and everything, you're being like very objective. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I wonder if the hero is me or someone else entirely. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. All right. What's the task? Uh. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Actually, yeah. What about the mirror on the wall? We don't we don't know what's up with that. Ooh, should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I like that idea. Are we are we not gonna like what we see? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Hmm. Hmm. Something tells me that he's either blind or he really doesn't want us to see that mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There is. Look, three out of four people say there's a mirror in the room. The fourth guy says there's no mirror in the room. The fourth guy might be wrong. There isn't. There is. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Let's go. Let's do it. Why would you lie about that? Oh, wait. I want to see how handsome I am. I, I want to click this to troll, but I'm also kind of like intrigued on why he can't see it. Just approach? I I want to, I would like more context though. I feel like that will be a, a choice depending on what, what will happen at the end. Let's go ask why he's lying about that. Maybe he's really, maybe he's really not aware. That's a, that'd be kind of interesting if he's really not aware of certain aspects in his own story that he can't even see. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself <laughs> instead of yourself. doing what needs to be done. Okay, well, let's go approach the mirror. Uh, well, let's go save first. Uh, no, no, quick save. I hope we see something that we won't regret, but we'll 100% regret it for sure. You walk up to the wall next to the basement. Wait, he really doesn't. It's a wall. There it's isn't much to see. It's right there. How do you not see it? This really isn't funny. Is he gaslighting himself? Is he gaslighting me? Wipe the mirror up. Uh oh. Okay, I'm starting to have second thoughts about this now, actually. <laughs> Just a little bit. You oh, reach forward and rub your hand against the oh. cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. That's, you know, having it be an old ugly bastard would at least mean that we'd be human. I don't think, I, 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 I don't think we're human. We might be, wait, no, we're not a dragon prince. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're a monster. Is that why we're killing the princess? Are we killing the princess because we're a monster? That would make sense, right? There's no reasonable knight or person that would kill someone like a princess. But it was there a second ago. Unless that's 
like not a revelation. Maybe maybe that's what you see. Silly barrel <laughs> monsters can't be shot. <laughs> Oi mate, you need a do you have a license for that for that knife on the table? Now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Is is this not a revelation? Are we is it not surprising that our hand looks like this? Uh, Cause I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking shook right now. Oh god. Okay, we got two choices. We take the blade, or we just go into the basement. I personally think that we don't take the knife. Yeah, we even with these, dude, we've got, we're literally a monster. We can like punch a hole through her stomach if we need to. Let's go save. I say we go in and we just talk it out. The door to the basement. Oh, what the open, fuck? Revealing a web of branching staircases, all built from unidentifiable oh, no. materials. I'm not even sure if we'll make it to the princess. This is this is getting a bit more complicated than I thought it would. I think the six characters slash princess put that mirror there. We haven't even met the princess yet. We're almost like an hour in, and we have not seen the princess yet. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. Yeah, they're like looping on themselves. Fall down the stairs endlessly, it'll be funny, I promise. The air here has a sickening, almost I just don't, sludge like don't miss your step. But you're ready kind of for eternity. quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. Every scent? An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick. Nothing. I wonder what everything would smell like. Cause you have good sense and then you have bad sense, so maybe it would just like cancel each other out. Imagine the smell. <laughs> Thanks for clocking in, Twetze. Appreciate it. If the princess it. lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You were again for someone who's just laying out the facts. You are extremely opinionated. Good morning. Good morning. It's like 2 a.m., but good morning. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. That is descriptive as hell. I'm really curious what the beginning of this was. I know, I kind of want to know what would have happened if, like, we just played it normally and we saw what was supposed to be seen. Hello? Oh, Hi. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Oh. oh. I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I... I don't like that voice. I really don't like that voice. No, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let, I think, uh, I think we should just go back up. Oh, don't be such. No, a here's baby. got a point. Here's got a point. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Can oh, we? we do. Can we just die. like? Can we just go to the other endless cabins? Maybe there'll be a cool princess there that we can just like play video games with. We don't even have a weapon. Oh shit! <laughs> Not the weapon. <laughs> She ails Eldritch? Uh, maybe. Maybe that's just what they want us to think. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. Oh, no shit. way to go but forward. You're right. And we can't even go out. We make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. We do? And what's that? That would be... Yeah, actually, what is that? The fate of the world hinges on your success? Oh, shut up! Who asked you? I'm looking around, I didn't see who asked. There'll still be plenty of ways. Oh, I like that. Oh, whoa. This guy, this guy I like a lot, dude. The contrarian, I am like 99% like on his side for most of whatever he says. <sighs> okay, let's see. Take the harsh stairs to the left. Take the st center staircase. Take the soft stairs to the right. Me is the contrarian. You've got some good opinions, Cyber. Let's take the harsh stairs to the left. We ain't backing down from no challenge. You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet. The impact of each step oh, sends pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left. Why are the stairs vibrating? The air oh. around you grows cold the further you progress. But first, Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Drop quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gone down the hardmost stairs when I've never even gone down the stairs normally to begin with. Wait, a thought. 
Maybe we earned the voice of the contrarian by taking the pure contrarian path. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Maybe the contrarian is being a lot more opinionated on this second playthrough, the second chapter, because we didn't follow the right path. I'm sure that maybe the hero would be more opinionated if we like took the hero's path, regardless of what we would have done inside the basements. Your toes feel like blocks of ice. Shit. Your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapor. Those don't even look like stairs anymore. Like, it's like a tail. You Holy shudder fuck. against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone deep chair. I don't think I'm even gonna make it to the bottom of the staircase. I think I'm gonna f like freeze or get stabbed or something. Uh oh. You slowly lose sense of yourself oh, the shit. further you go. That's not good. Time disappears. And you can feel yourself begin to untether. Hmm. Wow, who'd have thought? Going down the hard mode stairs was a bit too hard. Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. I think I've, I think I made the wrong choice, guys. I'm not even going to make it down there. I'm just walking. That's all I exist Consumption for. Consumption and betrayal. Skepticism and blind huh? devotion. Rivalry and submission. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. But at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just <gasps> going to stand there? Okay, that was... That was a bit jarring. Uh, what the hell was that? What happened to us? I, I think we lost ourselves for a second. Like, unironically lost who we were in that moment. What was that called? Disassociation? We literally disassociated in that moment. In a princess jump scare. I, dude, oh my god, your eyes are so fucking piercing. Jesus Christ. I feel so strange. Like, I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Hey, that's the ship of Theseus. Theseus? The Theus? Theseus. The ship of Theseus uh, theory, isn't it? Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Alright, how can we fuck up everyone's day, including the princesses? The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. I kind of did. I literally was walking for an eternity and then forgot why I was here, remember? And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening. I'm yeah, afraid, right? I lost myself on the way down. <laughs> God damn, Contrary. You are like such a goaded character in this story right now. Theseus is pronounced with an E sound. Theseus. Ship of Theseus. Alternate ass eyes. Wow, I can't believe this series stole from alternates. Five years after it was made. You're here to- He's just being an ass. We remember. Well, I'm <laughs> still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Why would a, a why would a princess being in a cabin in a basement? That doesn't that's like the farthest thing from being normal I've ever heard. Is she cute? Uh I guess her silhouette isn't monstrous looking yet. This is basic. That's too basic. 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 I like this one. Getting down here was... weird. Like, I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? What? Like you need me to hold your hand to tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? <laughs> huh? Okay, you know what? Saving the princess is now off the table. We're not- we're not fucking- we're not saving- We're not saving this chick! Fuck off- fuck off out of here! <laughs> I literally asked you a question, it's being abrasive as fuck! What the hell? How bad can you be a woman? Um... Well... Look... What kind of normal person asks, Hey, what happened to me? And now she's like, wow... You're really bad at, like, doing your job for killing me. Like, who- again, who asked? 
I, dude, narrator and princess are both unappealing characters. You can't kill her for being rude. Yeah, bet. Wanna watch me? We're probably stuck what? down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely uh, a way in. Huh? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. Why was that so loud? Um, I, I think it's supposed to be really jarring. Yeah, that was a that was a bit bit too jarring. Dimensional rift jump scare. Oh shit, you're right. That's a different pose. We can do that. We can. We just split reality. I just did that with my mind. I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Hey, that's a reference. Yeah, can we put her back? I I don't think we can fix her. Unironically, I don't think we can fix her. No, don't quip. But that's we. The whole reason that we got Contrarian, who is by the way the best character in the entire story right now, is because we've been quipping nonstop. You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly? Wait, oh happened? wow, he's actually fucking listening to us now. Wait, no, but I wasn't here before. I wasn't here per se, but I was here, like in the story. I just, you know, didn't listen to you. Does it matter? <laughs> yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out no, no, details. No, 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 so no, no, no. We can. Okay, narrator is hearing us out, so I think we can. I think we can allow him to listen. We can. We can give him the time of day. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. What words of wisdom? I just ignored you. But what's done is done, isn't it? <laughs> whatever you saw last time, unseen. Unseen. Whatever it? thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unseen. Excuse me. It's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it. I don't now. know. That princess looks like she can probably take me. Look, one princess, I could probably win in a fist fight. Two, that's a, that's a bit asking for much. The narrator is acknowledging the previous reality. I don't think he's acknowledging the previous reality, but he's acknowledging the fact that we have been here before somehow. Their, their faces are different. She's like, she's like pissed. She's got like that like really pissed off well subtle pissed off face but this one's more like um she's more like sad i guess this one right here new plan let's see if we can make even more of her. I li this guy can say nothing wrong holy shit okay um let's go see if we can figure out which ones would be the default ones and which ones are probably Fuck her, would probably fuck up this entire situation even more, because that's what I live for now. Why do I even have a sword and shield? I just touch this shit out. I'm not here to rescue anyone. I'm so lost. Don't worry. If it sounds confusing with Toyote or anyone else that came in for the first time, you are not alone. This entire story has gone off the rails, and that's the entire point. There's more of you now? I feel like this probably would be it. Oh, so yeah, we can hydrate right now. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Why is that one choice? Wait, why is this all one choice? Uh, I like this choice too. This would be my second choice, I would say. But I would like to know, I like this one, because I think it'll fuck up the situation even more. So let's go with this. So thanks for the stretch for Dean to do it there. Uh, at least we can. No, we need another backstretch. I've been like slouching this entire time. Let's go with. It's probably a visual bug. It's the pure schizo choice. Yeah, you know what? Let's go keep on splitting her up. Maybe we'll find a version of her, of her that's like pretty cool. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? Why are you so fucking sassy? What the hell? I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. Oh. Wait. Wait, there's two different versions of herself talking. Wait, she was talking and now she's talking. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Oh shit. Oh, oh, we're like completely breaking reality right now, aren't we? She fractures again. Oh god. <laughs> you know, I, I did say that, you know, chaos is, is cool and all, but you know, we, we killed the world and then the world reset. If we break reality, I don't know if we can come back from that. I don't like where this is going. 
Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things I don't even get have more a knife. complicated than they already are. Ask her name, get four answers? Actually, that'd be pretty funny. How would we even do that? Where would we start? Yeah, we don't even- we have no way to actually, you know, slay her. We'd always start by retrieving the blade. I left that behind. I'm not going back those stairs. I lost myself last time. Can we even leave this place? Yep. I don't know, wow, I'm hero. thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. This guy- why, why is everyone reasonable? Apart from the narrator, everyone's been, like, actually, like, the voice of reason this entire time. Rescue her, leave her, and get the knife all at once. Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. I mean, we could have a conversation with her. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. <laughs> we can't. The, vo the hero just said we can't fix her. If the hero says we can't fix her, I don't know if we can. kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies. Oh, is it just... Is that really what's happening? It's not the wrong choice. It's just... It, it, it's just... It's just breaking entirely. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. I get, So if I keep asking a question, it's going to keep on breaking reality for her. What's the right chain for? It's attached to her wrist. Okay. Let's go keep breaking reality. Yeah. What's your name? You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. That's reasonable, I guess? Princess. Oh. Okay. It doesn't matter. I've been down here for so long. You are so What's the point so of a name if there's no one around you? Depressed. Either? None of them have names. They, yeah, that's true. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. You've never given me your name either, asshole. How do I know who you are? You know, trust is a two-way street, and you've done nothing but order me around. Like she, she has also been kind of, you know, abrasive. But you're, you're no, you're no better than her right now. All right. For all I know, you're locked up here, down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. Well, okay, Mrs. Sarcastic. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. Okay, Mrs. Dopey. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster, and the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. Um, I think, I think, okay, she might not be so trustworthy anymore. Moopy mommy or eldritch mommy or well, okay well that's the eldritch version of her is this gonna there's gonna be another version that here's appears right here isn't there also hey rod 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 oh my god i want to butcher your name completely i'm so sorry but hey rod please tell me if i'm like completely saying it right or wrong you called dibs yeah you know at, at this point we're gonna have like enough princesses for like every single person so you know uh call it as you like it Turn the fourth into a wall and break her. Does Rua is fine? All right. Well, thanks for dropping by, Rua. Uh, right now, we are probably breaking reality. I have no idea anymore. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? I mean, we can delve into her psyche for a bit. We can sort of get a feel for who she is, right? Can't even follow what's going on anymore. But at least we know she will definitely kill us and end the world somehow. We need, we need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. Alright, let's go ask one more time. It's gonna uh, probably do a fifth one, so uh, brace yourselves. It may be... it might be a bit jarring again. I don't think what I'd do really matters, does it? I oh, just God. want to live my life. Okay, so that's like the innocent princess, I guess? Or like the... Pure one? I'm a prisoner here, and whether or not you shoved me down here, you're practically my captor at this point. Anything I'd say is tainted by that. Um... Wait, what? Are you saying that because I have the freedom of choice to let you go? Besides, you already know what I'm going to do. 
I don't, I don't like you. If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. I, why? I, I've been, I've literally just been railroaded non-stop this entire, like, story. Not a single real answer. At least aside from Miss Blood and Destruction, it's infuriating. Actually, yeah, she, they're right. Apart from everyone here, she has been the only one that's, like, given us, like, an iota of truth. Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get under? Not exactly how I put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This I mean, is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. <laughs> Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. I... But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? They're not all different. They're all her. They're all different versions of her personality, but it's still her in the end. Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. I can't even kill her. Chain slash attack. I mean, she can attack us five different times, so she's got the multi-hit attack. We hit her once, and she's gonna hit us in five times in one turn. It's really unfair, you know? Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Are you saying chaotic is too chaotic? Okay, I can't even look. This is a bug. Oh, all right. Wait, that's not right. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's not a bug. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot what? lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. Oh god, we, we actually broke reality, oh fuck. You can feel yourself. Oh watching. god. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. I think that there's, I, I, I just, she got me? I don't think she has any bearing on, on what's happening. I'm pretty sure we we probably caused this ourselves. Oh, fuck. Find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings what? as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to the Uh, what? What? Huh? Wait, what? Uh, but I, I never even had the blade. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. I, I can't even tell what's happening anymore. Oh, fuck. All three? There, there's, there's five different versions of her. But this... Oh, you mean I did I all can't... three? We did all three choices. Yeah, this is what happens. You just fill in every single choice on a question, and this is what happens. Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of okay, wit Okay, right Contrarian is at a loss for words. So, I I'm a bit scared. If the Joker has nothing funny to say, that's when you probably should start worrying. And Hero, you've been completely useless this entire time, man. I'm so sorry. No, I don't, oh, fuck. because this isn't fun. Oh. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Everything all at once. Luckily for all oh. oh! Nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves. Oh god, we we took too long. The the world ended and now we're gonna reset again, aren't we? You went back and got the blade while you were risking her and leaving her behind. Falls apart? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, God. She's alive, saved, and we, we just left her there all at once at the same time. I think he's gone. Wait, the nerd died? We were never going to salvage this, were we? I never had... I was, it was never the intention to salvage it. So thanks for the follow, Armpit Wine. Good name, by the way. What happened to us? What are we? Oh, God, she's aware. Oh, fuck. They just don't fit. Oh, Jesus, that's awful. That's a that's a horrible... F oh, my God. She's alive and dead simultaneously. Oh, God. This is... Gl oh. You know... You, you, you want to be live... 
but if you're not alive, you probably want to be dead. You probably don't want to be somewhere in the middle. That sounds awful. That sounds excruciating. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Oh, God. Oh. oh. D did I do this? I, I did this, didn't I? Schrodinger's princess. Actually, if it was Schrodinger's princess, we would not be observing her because then she'd be in a state of alive and death at the same time. The fact that we're observing her means that she is, at least in one point, something like that. What in the world? Hey, Rura. Uh, glad you came in just in time. We are causing reality to break. Did you do this? Did we do this? Can, can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? She's asking if we can fix her. What are your thoughts, chat? Can we fix her? My personal opinion? I can't even fix myself. I, I don't know what you're expecting from me. We should help her. I think we did this. this. Is contrarian, this is what you wanted. You can't go back on your words now. Uh, surprisingly sincere. I mean, I'm not saying... Look, I'm not just... Look. I'm not an asshole. I think we should also fix her. But contrarian, you're kind of... You caught yes, you were the one that wanted this, and now you're saying, oh shit, this is a bit too far? You gotta own up to your actions, man. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? How come- How are they like, so in tune- No, that's kind of scary. How are they so in tune with me? I don't like- I really don't like the fact that like, everything I say out loud is like them- is them like actually like being what what is being said for me? It's kind of creepy. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is uh, what we've done. Please, 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 please. But weren't you? But you were about to end the world. The devs are watching and altering your game in real time. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No. Say nothing? I'm not even sure- I don't know what you could even do in this situation. Do my best? I don't even know what you could do! I mean, what can you really- yeah, I mean... You just- you can't tell her. You can't tell her that it'll be okay. I don't think we can tell her that she's not supposed to be fixed, otherwise she might kill us again. No. Just just no. You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. We didn't you didn't do that. That's me coping. Well, that's the main character coping. It's not one of those only way to win is not to play situations, is it? We look, we literally did that, remember? We did that at the start. We chose not to do anything, and that broke reality. In fact, that the whole reason that we broke reality is because we made no choice. Okay. I don't want to leave her like this, okay? As fun as it is to like fuck up the story and kill the world and everything, I don't think anyone deserves to live like this. I guess we'll try to do something? Oh god. Oh! The illusion- I guess an achievement called the illusion of choice. There was no right answer. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear your reply. She's gone, replaced- Wait, that's the mirror! That's the mirror we saw! She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? The mirror that the narrator couldn't even see. There's that mirror. Why is it here? Why now? Why? Why is the mirror here? There, shit, the narrator's gone too! He is. Does that mean the world ended? Wait, so... She died. The narrator died. The world died, but we still exist. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? Atreon, you're like not being helpful here anymore, man. 
I get okay. So I think the explore option basically just like gives us more context for like what's going on. This is like the actual action. I guess we could have done more exploring uh, back in earlier. Well, it's kind of too late for that now, but it's good for for the future choices. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. I don't have a choice here, man. I'm being railroaded again. No, <laughs> don't do that. I have no choice. The achievement I just got a few seconds ago was the illusion of choice. As much as you guys don't want it, even if I didn't want to do it, there's only one thing to do. I'm begging you, don't do this. What are we gonna see? I mean, I know we're a monster, but what if like we see the princess reflected in there? Yeah, the mirror never scared you before. Why are you so nervous now? It's different now. It feels, I don't know, final. Maybe the real princess is the friends we made along the way. Well, all our friends are dead. Everything is dead. There's nothing left. It's just the mirror. Is it jump scare or princess? Maybe both. Haven't you played the Stanley Parable at the mercy of the narrative? I have... I'm trying to get around to playing it eventually. Whoa. You approach the mirror. Alright, well... Brace yourselves, I guess. I'm just telling you right now. If anything happens... Time to prepare for gaze into your reflection. Hey. Silence as you reach forward. That is a not a looking good looking arm. They're gone. The mirror Oh god, we lost the voices. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in in it. Wait. Me so I... I... I am a monster? You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to... There's no cabin! What? I'm not... I think... The story doesn't exist anymore. I don't get what you want me to do. Is, is that her? Wait, is that, that's her, isn't it? Whoa. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Did we... Did I... did I do this? What... are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I don't even know what I am. Solitary lights? What... What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. I'm kind of like, I kind of wish I did like the normal route because maybe that would have given more context for like what's going on, but at the same time, I don't know if like I caused all this to happen specifically. I don't know what I am. I can't be a person. So thanks for clocking in, Mars. More of the story, you can't fix her if you can't fix yourself. That's true. I did say at the start, we can't even fix ourselves. And I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. Huh? What? We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Hey, Dragomir, what's up? Thanks for jumping by. So she's saying I'm like her, but maybe she means like we're two sides of the same coin? Hello, you're my favorite intern. I'm not even an intern anymore. I'm some like abomination or something. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. 
These ones are a contradiction, a winding kaleidoscope of paths and law. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. You're... I... You're being a bit too... vague right now. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Wait. So... I sped run meeting this vessel way before I was supposed to? Is that what I, I Do did? Not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Did this is this the vessel she's talking about? Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Oh shit, you're right. Wait, so this isn't the end of the world? Um, do you know the narrator? The princess amalgamation is the vessel. You are the only thing I have ever known. I... <laughs> I don't like that because that me that implies that we were the cause of her being born. This version of the princess. This, like, abomination, amalgamation. At the very end of reality. Pink voice is the arms? The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. I mean, I guess she is right. The world hasn't ended, but this is literally all that's left of the world. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what traps me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. So she has no, she doesn't really have any idea about like the narrator or the princess of the story, but she's contextually aware of like everything that's happened so far, I'm assuming. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. I don't know, you've got a dagger sticking out of your chest, and you, you seem like you're fused into one being, which doesn't look very pleasant. I can fix her. I can't fix her, I can make her a lot worse. I'm pretty sure this is the worst it's gonna get, for her at least. I know only that they are. Are you... Do you, are you still the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But you were always the princess. Were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? In the context of time, yes. I mean, for you, time doesn't exist because this is all you've known. But I'd still like to know whether or not that there's still a sort of a being inside of you that existed before this. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. She did say that we're similar to her, so we can't be her. What happens now? <laughs> Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Wait, so if we make her for- If we make her forget- does that mean we lose all of the context of what happened so far? All of our progress? Did we reset? Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Perspective. So they are aware she'd make us forget. 
I th is that the whole point of the game to help this being this vessel at the end gain more perspective aren't you scared that i'll find a way to kill you i have not lived i am not afraid to die i mean are you even still living in this wherever this place is how much will i forget everything until we meet again well so the, the main character i guess will forget everything but we'll still know especially when we meet her i guess that's the whole point it's supposed to be meta in that sense how many more pieces of you do i have to find more than you have found but less than there are to find I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Uh, and what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. So we're just stuck here forever with... With... with her? This is just completionist bait? I mean, I guess that's the whole point of the... I guess we, so we sort of understand what the point of the game is now, right? It wasn't just to tell a story, it's so that we would be able to gain every perspective of the story to figure out what is happening, right? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. I think, if I'm parsing our prose correctly, this is a hive mind of unused characters, plus one issue used character, wishing to gain enough awareness to escape the narrative. Is that what they want to do, escape the narrative? I don't know about that. I think you're right about the first half. You're being semantic. What if- <laughs> That's true, you just- just tell me straight. What do you want? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. You are still speaking in prose. <sighs> I could just wait, but nothing's gonna happen if I wait. Because she just said that we'll just be stuck here forever until something happens. I mean, I can, I can do it, but I think it's just gonna give me the. It's just gonna tell me to like just go back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. Wait. Really? Girl, you slay- no. I- I think- uh, We never even got the chance to slay the princess, now that I think about it. She wants to do something beyond the scope- Beyond the scope of the perspective she wishes to incorporate into herself. That's true, this is all she's ever known. Because of us, she was- the vessel was born way too early, and now she has no really- she has no awareness of anything outside of whatever this is. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Damn it, she's aware. <laughs> as much as long as long as we wait for it forever, as long as the choice presents itself to go back, it doesn't matter how long we wait, because she knows that we're gonna have to choose the other choice eventually. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Are you? What? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to I life. think this is... I think this is meta. This is like fourth wall. Because she's basically saying, even if we were to... Even if we were to basically compartmentalize reality into a video game or, you know, in a box of her and just me, 
and we just close that box, which means exiting the game, at some point, we will want to know what's going to happen. Because you'll, because she says right here, you'll always want to know what it means to be you. And she'll still be here waiting until we open it back up. I fucking, I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! It closed the, I fucking crashed the game! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Oh my god. How am I, how am I predicting like everything five seconds before it actually happens? What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking knew it! God damn it! Okay, a kind achievement. <laughs> I never left your side. Attempt to outweigh your destiny. <laughs> oh god, damn it, man! I'm so good at picking up context clues. What the heck? The only correct answer is to deny de in the game until every last bit is laid bare. Technically, you could wait forever. They would just mean closing the game. And never reinstalling it again. I like how it opened up to this though. She she knew. She knew that as much as we would wait for forever, which in this case would have been like a couple of seconds, we'd still come back. Ah <sighs> okay. Let's do it. I mean there's no there's nothing to forget. When we go back to the start of the game, the narrator is going to tell us that we have to kill her again. So we're never really going to forget her. Game's muted, by the way. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, my God. Let me see if I can fix this again. But, man, this. <laughs> I swear to God, I am like the only person who has this many audio issues every single time. All right, let me see if I can fix this. Okay, there we go. I think it's working now. I broke it again, of course. Oh, but thanks for letting me know. You won't. Thanks for that, I guess. I, d I definitely died. And we won't remember what happened, technically, until we go back to the very end of time. <sighs> okay. Well, we're back. You're on a path in the woods. The real the Slay the Princess starts here. A cabin. <laughs> You'll know it when you see and it. In the basement of that cabin is a princess. Now, we have context. Even though I guess we weren't supposed to reach the context that far that quickly because, you know, we didn't really follow the story. But we know now, right? No speak? No speaking, only do. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be oh, the you end mean of the world. just ignore everything and just see what happens if we just go silent? I guess we can try that. That is an option. We don't have to. We don't have to acknowledge anything. We can just do it. Okay. Silently continue to the cabin. Let's go see what happens if we just give him the cold shoulder. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Be a good protagonist and You'll kill the princess. the princess. I kind of don't want to see what happens if we just do it. You're right. I, I have this sword and shield here. It's kind of, you know, going to waste. It's kind of rotting. It's it's collecting dust. We can't... We can't let it, like, you know... Like, we got it from Walmart, okay? We got it from a dumpster bin in Walmart. We have to make use of it. A warning before you go any further. Yeah, you told me this before, narrator. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Let's go save. Actually, did it wipe my? Oh, I didn't wipe my saves. Okay, that would be, that should have been the thing. You know, if it, if they really wanted to wipe our memory, it should have completely wiped our saves. But I guess there would have been no progress continued if that happens. At least not on not on the visual novel engine. All right, now we can see what actually happens if we just do it normally. 
The interior of the cabin no is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. JRPG silent protagonist time? You're right, we gotta- we just gotta do it. We gotta let the plot just pinball us over around. Yeah, it's not shifting now because it completely resets the beginning, the first chapter, where nothing- Nothing is like fucked up. The blade is your implement. If you also notice, we have no. You'll need it if you want to do this right. We have no subconscious like telling us what to do. There's no narrator. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, voice of the hero and voice of the contrarian right now. All right, let's just do it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I wonder what would happen though if you just go down to the basement and just try to kill her without the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You said that last time. I still don't agree with it, man. Her voice carries up the stairs. Might be a chance to talk here. Wow, totally different game. Who's yeah, there? It's like, you know, an actual visual novel. Except we're just, like, ignoring the choices and we're just doing... She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down Wait. here. Wait. Hey, he's back! The voice of the hero's back! Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Good. You're still listening to reason. Mm. You know... Something tells me that if I were just keep on doing, we're gonna fall into the narrator's like plot, whatever that plot might be. I mean, yeah, he does have a plot. There's a story, but I feel like there's something still going on, even outside the context of like you know the end of the world with the vessel. I still feel like there's more to this guy than what he's letting on, because we don't know why he wants us to kill the princess. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She is... <laughs> Dude, look at that look. Jesus Christ. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? There's no voice of the contrarian yet, is there? Focus on the task at hand. Oh, you know what? Maybe... Maybe the voice of the contrarian would appear if we just went down here, but like kept doing the opposite of what the narrator wanted without actually leaving the context of the story. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I am here to kill you, actually. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I feel like those are like context cues, though. Oh, no talking then? Oh Fine. shit, she's aware. What even makes you think you can kill me? Oh. Wait. She might have a point, actually. The narrator just said we can, we have to kill her, but he never said if we would actually... If we'd actually be able to. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, Wait. right? And if that knife Wait. is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Wait. I, wait, I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. I, I don't like this anymore. Wait, she's... She, she's actually... She's actually being logical, what the fuck? So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. You had a personality that wanted me to end things quickly, okay? She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End Narrator, this. you're... Also fucking untrustworthy. She's untrustworthy, but for a whole different reason. You have been so dodgy. I kind of I kind of wonder what happened if we just kept going silent but we just What would, what would be the option though? I mean yeah, we'll kill her. We'll obviously we'll kill her at some point. So these explore options, they're all context clues. 
I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade. Slay the princess. She is armed. She has one free arm. Come back for those later. Alright. Just saying. It's probably not gonna... It's probably not gonna end well for us. We know what she's capable of. At least some portion of her is capable of. And even though we're like a monster, we are probably way in over our heads. Once you get snacks, had a realization. Arms void says we're like her because we're players. We play games, gathering the perspectives of others and incorporating them into ourselves in hopes of being better, able to live our lives as a result. That's what we do. Within, I guess, like every single... <laughs> as a player, when you play all these types of games, you gain introspection into like certain types of stories and plots and ideas that people would have, and you incorporate into your own like perspective and choices, I guess. At the very worst, it'll be funny. You say that, but then we're probably gonna get like killed in a very brutal and loud manner. I'm just saying. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Whoa. I. She's. Human. She's. a person. You oh. feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Now kiss? Um, I don't think she's any, in any mood to kiss. Oh. Yeah, we we did that. This is it, isn't it? What? You were, like, confidently talking for someone who just got stabbed in the chest. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder... Can you really trust the narrator? Do you actually oh, believe this was enough to kill me? It, no, I, yeah, I, I figured. It's not... She's convinced she can't. Wait, Hero's got a point. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive Wait, what? and well. Huh? I just saw the life drain out of her eyes, but I don't like that. She believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments the music's ago. Gone. The music's that gone. The arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really? Over. We, yeah, what happens now? Okay. I have a choice here. And I feel like this is a death flag. These are these two are death flags. The first one has to be like, you know, it's over, it's done. The narrator play thing? The narrator's really been like He's been dodgy, but he hasn't really done anything to, like, sabotage us, I guess. I mean, yeah, he did kind of, like, break the world in the first chapter, but that was only because we weren't really following his directions, you know? Be the plaything? So what would be the plaything here? Just... Of course she's dead. Th this... I feel like whether I choose these last two... I will probably cause the story. I'll probably cause her to. I'll probably cause her to get back up. All right, but I feel like if I choose this, I'm gonna walk away. I'm probably gonna get like stabbed. <laughs> All right, no death flags. We just do it and we get out of here. We follow the narrator. Let's go see what happens. Yes, exactly. It's over. Means what you say. With your work done. You make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Now what? I'm still a monster. I I literally came in here, killed a random person. Now what? Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? We did! I, even though that girl would have ended the world, we had no context for that. We literally just did something. You know what we did the equivalent of? We did- we wrote down on a note saying, hey, you should kill this person inside this cabin. If you don't, people will die. Actually, wait, isn't that a movie? Wait, that's literally a movie, isn't it? Wait, no, unironically, that's a movie. Um, cabin at the uh, cabin at the end of the woods or something like that. It was that M Night Shyamalan movie. It just came out, wasn't it? Where they're literally like, you guys will have to kill one of your own family members in order to save the world. Otherwise, the world will end. Isn't isn't that literally like? That's literally just what we just did. You did kill someone. 
greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was cabin the of the yeah something like that. One of these days that will sink in, and help ease your guilty conscience. Again, there was no proof that she would have ended the world. You just said so. Wait. Oh God, the threads are back. Wait. They're back. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Wait, I just re wait, wait. Th that was there at the end of the world, wasn't it? Or at the end of time? All right, let's go see if there's anything out here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. I still don't trust him. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. You Instead, asshole. You find she it's ended the world cool. anyways. <sighs> Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of silence. I fucking I knew it. Away. I knew we couldn't trust her. No, regardless of what we would have done, the world still ends and we reach the end of time. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now fine. You away from fucking them. jerk! What? I knew it, I knew it. You'll be safe. Fucking this is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be no. happy. Fuck off. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world, asshole. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. Narrator this did nothing wrong. You're right. He, he just told us. You're the world. He just was extremely misleading. Which I expected at the start of the game, which is why we didn't listen to him. But he still has too much power. He has enough power to break reality, but at the same time, he told us we had to do this. Ugh, oh, god damn it, I knew it. I fucking knew this it. This is what's best for everyone. Fuck off. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful boring blur. You've never been happier. I, w I, sh I wish I could, like, not listen to him, but we already know what happens if we don't listen to him. Fucking reality breaks. I want to get back at this guy somehow, but I don't know how. So thanks for the follow, Ravenstone. Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever. Alright, hero, right? it's you and me against the world. And against the world, I mean against this fucking dude. No, fuck. We're not fucking happy. Hell no. Yeah, fuck this narrator guy. I'm not. Fuck this guy. I do, but you're probably not going to like it. Wait, he's going to tell us to end ourselves, isn't he? The blade. Yep. We can use the blade to get out of this. We're not the narrator's blade thing anymore? No. <laughs> we just did what he did. Did you just not see what happened? We followed his orders, and we got to the end of the world. Now we're stuck here. We killed the only person we could have talked to. We are literally boring ourselves to death in foreverness. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. I mean, we still have a choice anyways. Maybe kill her again? We could kill her again, but we what would be the point? We know what happens at that point. He's right. It's the only way out. Oh god. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. I'm calling it right now. If I wait here while I'm happy, if I if I wait here while I'm quote unquote happy, I'm just gonna wait forever and it's gonna close the window. And then he's gonna be like, hey, you're back. You wanna be happy again? And then the hero is gonna be like, hey, you still have that choice where you can reset the game, AKA uh, commit Minecraft death. Look, I already know. I, we already went that through that path once before, okay? Oh, here was an it now, huh? Do you not? There's more Actually, for us right. to do. Actually, you're right. He, and he, the he changed it contextually. The only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. That is not... That is not something a hero should say, honestly. He's got a point, but at the same time, he shouldn't be saying that. He, That's not something a hero would say. Don't you dare. What? Fuck you! Wouldn't you use them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. This is this is what happens, right? 
we click this and we follow the narrator and then we're just gonna you know clap the game close on us i do want to see i want to some context though how astute you are absolutely correct using the blade to kill yourself would kill you <laughs> and you shouldn't people do die it. when they're killed apparently in a sense we die but looking at things from another angle are we even really alive anymore this place it's he's nothing. got a point it's you absolutely kind nothing of it's just the same thing Constantly, sitting here forever. in a cabin rotting i know this is out there but trust me i know using the blade hero don't say that oh my god that little voice didn't want you to slay the princess it didn't want you to be happy i'm not happy you're just saying i'm happy the british accent adds so much to the sarcasm in this game isn't it kind of funny how like every single like narrative game nowadays like has a british narrator most of the time like every single meta game always has like a british narrator you better be right about this i'll be pretty upset if we die die i'm not asking death over your weird hunch anything's out of this hell you're right i didn't like the idea i'm just no i'm not doing that also yeah that's good if you guys also want to like check out every single ending well i mean i'm not sure if we're gonna be railroaded and get every single ending but feel free to try it out yourselves that's like one of the hopes i have for you guys whenever i play like cool games like these these are all different choices though if we die die <laughs> actually i kind of want to agree with that hero don't say that please if we die die you can yell at me all you want I can't yell at you because I'll be dead dead, stupid. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you ingrate. What? Rude. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement I'm and walk down the stairs. Things. The princess's body oh, she's is rotting. dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. No, it's it's still there. Everything's there. Something about British accents just feels very audiobookish. Maybe it's because they've like established doing everything like that, and then like you know because we're so used to it, we accept it. You know. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. <laughs> wow, you're so matter-of-factly about it. Don't be so upset, jeez. You did this. You unironically caused this. The end. Nice knowing you. Can't say it's the same for you. Chapter 2, The Spectre. You're on a path in Wait. the woods. It's and not... at the end of that path is a cabin. And it's in not... the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, the music's still fucked up, but there's no gate back there anymore. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. So now we have another option. We can either kill her again, we can try to leave, I don't know what that, that would do. Or we can... Talk to the princess. Bro, Stanley Parable narrator's happy ending was better than this. Wait, okay, we already did that before. Uh... He's gonna be like, oh... I don't know what you're talking about. Let's try this one. I killed myself, what am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. You are so antsy, man. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Okay, yeah, I remember that. That's fine. Wait, what? It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. So the hero's voice will always be there. But that second voice, that secondary voice, that's going to be depending on what would happen, depending on what ending you get in the first chapter. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. I wonder what we should go for then. I kind of want to break reality on the second playthrough with the cold voice. But I also want to see what would cold vo like the cold voice would do if we just tried to like befriend. Yeah, let's go try rescuing her, I guess then. Let's assume I'm telling the truth. And all this already did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? He's just gonna tell us, oh, the world's gonna end. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if yeah, that's give what some it context. takes to get you moving. 
What if you walk it on the princess? We can try that again uh, next time. Like, whatever we do on the third run, uh, it won't matter. But on the second half of the third run, we'll just leave and see what happens. Yeah, the second voice is the heroes, but like the character, the voice of the whatever is dependent on what you do in the first chapter. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You fucking asshole. Oh, we listened to you plenty. Oh, wait, we slew thank you, Cold. Oh, just like oh. you asked us to, and then you locked us away in an empty void for a time. Oh, shit, Cold. So we slew ourselves, too. Oh my god. Wait, I, I like Cold, too. What the heck? Why is every single secondary character, like, so... So based. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me. Because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not, I care. We about already he can't he can't change things up on us because we know what will happen again if we listen to him. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing yeah, anything? Right? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Yeah, we saved the world and you locked us in a fucking box. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. Oh shit, That's Hero's kind of getting over it. Me. Well, he practically never told you to end yourself. Yeah, because there would have been no other thing to do. What, sit and rot in eternity? That doesn't sound like something I'd really, anyone really enjoy. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question uh -oh. of how oh, no. got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Fuck. Were you no, no, we're not doing this. This is the this is the quantum theory thing, where like you know if you die in one reality, you just continue existing because you like your death was failed. Like, I think I remember reading about this somewhere. I'm not I'm not big on like quantum mechanics. I mean, yes, I'm a researcher. I'm a demon researcher, but I don't specialize in that. But I think the idea of quantum death is the idea that when you die, like prematurely, I guess you could call it, from an accident or like a death for whatever reason, reality splits off into two different like uh, branches. One would be where you just die and then people just keep living. And the other reality is where you manage to avoid death. It was a near death experience and you keep on living. And every single time you have a near-death experience, that's like the idea of like quantum death happening all at once. So you could technically probably live forever. That sounds really awful because you know, then you just like rot to death, rot to the heat death of like the universe. But in a certain reality and like on a one, uh, one in a fucking contillion chance, you will continue to live forever like over and over again because you just managed to keep on surviving. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Yeah, that's the that was the idea. Quantum immortality, that's what it was. If you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place that you left? Why would that matter? You killed me, regardless. It doesn't matter, because we didn't fail to slay her. I, oh my god, Cole, you are really so based. Bad, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us... Maybe she's not the only one around here. Oh shit! Kind of <laughs> I like this. I like this guy. We can get back at the narrator. Just stay focused, will you? No, I wanna. I wanna kill narrator. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. If anything, oh god. If anything, the world ended after I slew her. When I tried to leave, everything was gone. Last time around, I stabbed her in the heart and she died. How could someone like that end the world? I like, let's go with this one. That's a good point. How do we know we didn't have things backwards? Maybe slaying the princess was what ended the world, not the other way around. I, it's kind of weird, like knowing, it, it's kind of weird that they're self-aware of the idea that like, you know, oh, well, we killed the princess and the world ended, but technically, you know, what if the world didn't end? Well, how do you know that the world didn't end when we killed the princess? It's like weird because they the story was written to be like meta contextual, like it's aware it's in its own story, right? But now they're reacting that way. Meta contextual characters aren't supposed to be aware that they're supposed to be like in a story. Yes, maybe this whole thing was a trick to get us to end the world. 
now we get to go through the whole charade again, wholly aware of what's waiting for us at the end. It's so weird, now that I think about it. I call Devs and the voice of the cold as my husband, but they're all the same. They're, it's all the same voice. I mean, yeah, they're different characters, but they're all they're all from one person. That's your that's the narrator and yourself's uh, subconscious. But that's assuming she's alive in that cabin. We did kill her, after all. Yeah, but how do we know that time didn't return back to normal, or if we didn't get like transported to a different world? You're going to find her in the cabin. If the princess had actually been slain, you wouldn't be here. I'm choosing to fix the narrator. I can fix him. Maybe the narrator is the most fucked up one here. He's like successfully gaslit himself into thinking. No, he. Never mind. I'm wrong. He's right because when the world. When we killed the princess, he trapped us in there for some reason. That was his reward. What a fucking shitty reward, by the way. Yeah, please make him worse. He deserves Let it. Let me assure you. Killing her will not end the world. I don't know what you think happened to you last time, but it's a load of nonsense. You'll get your happy ending. I have no I reason to believe you, considering what happened last time. Well, that's exactly what we're afraid of. Really? Living happily ever after sounds that bad to you? Oh well, there's no use arguing over your masochism. Shut Cabin up. Awaits. You just said that we were happy, but we're not. You can't determine who is happy. Last time I stabbed her in the heart and she died, how can something like that end the world? She just can. You'll have to trust that what I'm saying is true. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. You're the one that... <sighs> if people had locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this. He just keeps on adding special. context to stuff because we're here to begin with. Doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. See, how come he's only giving us he's only giving us the prophecy after the fact that we questioned him about it? If it's so important from a prophecy and we're so special, how come he didn't tell us that at the beginning? I don't I don't believe a single word this guy's saying. So thank you for the follow, Dr. Rudy G. Num Numpad. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Don't fall for that, hero. Of course we're special. Oh my god, you guys are eating this guy's shit up. You're being KG. What aren't you telling I me? I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. This is boring. He's clearly not interested in talking. So let's just do as he says. Why is it capital? Maybe oh, I don't like that. It'll stop bothering us. Why? Why is he capitalized? Great. Now, if is you it don't because mind, he's technically a god in the context of this story? breath for you to save it from ruin. <sighs> Fine. We'll go visit the princess, but I'm not going to listen to you. A warning before you go any further. Yeah, you told us this last time and the time before. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I'm not going to believe anything that you believe in. She won't be a problem. Or anything that you say. I kind of want to see what Cold would say, though. Cold's voice would say once we uh, get inside. The interior of the cabin is cold. Oh, that's different. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging Mirror's the shutters there. against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade He's not perched aware of the on mirror. the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. So last time when we broke reality, it's because we, we made him break reality. But this time, the cabin is like reflecting how cold and desolate we were like how methodical we were with killing the princess and not really questioning it like I've been saying she's dead we killed her already is she really gonna be dead imagine you know be actually be a really cool like rug pool I mean okay we all know that we're gonna go down there and she's we're gonna expect her to be alive but a really cool idea that I think will probably not happen would be to go down there and she's already dead. I want to see what would happen. 
It's also reflecting how much time has passed in the chapter one cabin. That's also, wait. That's, that could make sense. You didn't say, this is a whole, this cabin is a whole lot different than last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous second life proposition. You haven't died. You certainly haven't already slain the princess. I would like the I like the idea. I kind of hope that would go the path where like it's not actually a time loop and we actually like are continuing from the last playthrough. But I feel like that would be a bit too convoluted, you know. I I would really like if that would be the case, but I feel like that's not what's going to happen. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. All right, let's go see what the mirror has to say again. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. I think that's last time. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Come Let's on, just Cole. Go into it's the basement and find you have to be pretty interested in this. Come so on, man. Can be done with this. I care about whether I'm being lied to. Exactly. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Oh, he's Why would I lie? Time. Uh, let's go approach the mirror again. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. This game has avoided void of grasping arms floating here. around the narrow shit, you're right, actually. This really isn't funny. You it's reach gone. forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Same thing as last time. And now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. I wonder Clearly what Cold would say if we just ignore the the knife. I kind of I kind of want to know now. All right, Cold. Uh, you're gonna learn. We're gonna warm up your heart, Cold. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get to know the princess. Stop touching the walls, but they're so nice. The door to the basement groans. I like he doesn't even acknowledge the fact that we got the creaky wooden the knife. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. Under so, if you like, very building itself. Befriend the princess. Dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Yeah, the stairs are actually not that long compared to like you know chapter three, or chapter three, uh, our first playthrough. The room below is silent. I kind of want to see what the cabin would be like if we like befriended her nobody's here naturally i will actually lose my mind i will lose my shit if she's actually dead or not there as much as i appreciate the optimism you shouldn't be so sure i really really hope she's not there i guess we'll just have to go down and see come on man don't don't let it be there come on be, be cool be different as you <gasps> descend the final step the form oh, of the shit! princess comes into view a skeletal body Oh fuck! Oh! On the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. So. I guess you don't have to... I guess you're sort of railroaded into whatever happens in the second chapter. You don't have, like, a second choice to do whatever you want. Okay. She's definitely Ma dead. Maybe? Maybe. I could be wrong. There could be a lot of... There could be a whole lot of different endings. It's just like I told you. Before you have huh? a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the Wait. floor. Ghost? Two deep set eyes huh? stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeleton. Wait, grin. what? And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join oh the. Oh god, head. even the narrator isn't even know. This isn't right. What's going on here? G -g 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 Ghost! Shut up, Hero. You're oh. so. <laughs> wow. How absolutely terrifying. Oh What's god, wait, is it gonna jump scare to us? To us? A ghost could technically jump scare us. I, th I feel like that might be what might happen. Looks like you're locked into a story branch. That could be the case. We don't know just yet. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. 
I was hoping to see you again. Oh no, I she remembers she, she remembers us. This is awkward. Oh god. Oh god, she she knows. The princess drifts across the room into oh, your orbit. Don't go gently next running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles uh, you. Wait, what? Huh? Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across. She's her skin. into me? Um, I don't know how I feel about that, considering I literally stabbed her to death. This is this isn't this is more awkward than anything. Look, I was okay with rescuing her, but I, I don't know how I feel about her literally being like, Wow, this this monster that killed me, I, I'm so into into in, into him or her or it now. So she has a body. And she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again. Cold, you're we uh, you, you were cool at first, but now you're we just getting kinda weird, man. She looks fragile enough to me. Also, are you stupid? She's a ghost. You can't do anything about- you can't do anything to her. She's ethereal. You'd go right through her. Who are you gonna call? Um, Princess Busters? No. Let's go wait and see how things play out. Cold, you are gonna get me killed. I, I, you were cool at first? You were a bit too cool at first now. You, you are a bit too killer happy. I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. That's probably a good thing. She probably would have taken it and killed us if we had it. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Pig for absolution, maybe? You got anything to say, Hero? Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. Oh, okay. We're going down that way, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Ah, I see. We're really we're we're. Why am I playing so many games that are like made by, like, horny developers? I feel like. See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. This already happened. Wait, narrator. Wait, narrator. Narrator. Yes, obviously things are strange right now. I think it's safe to say that you've seen something, something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of me you've met, none of that matters now. There's no changing what's already happened. Do you have a job to finish? Uh, no. I don't think I'll- She's weird, but you're still kind of an asshole, so I'll go with the weird ghost girl who is, like, for some reason, like, really sadistic, and I think I will not listen to you. Finish. Half. Yeah, how are you, you supposed to kill her anyway, stupid? What, like, get across ghost. or something? There's a perfectly pristine blade. What do you want me to do? Are you stupid? Always use it to. Uh, I don't know. Slay her. What do you. This guy is actually brain dead. I mean, he's just like me for real, for real. Eight months in and you're still stinky. Wow. Eight months in and you're still subscribed to this stinky ass demon VTuber. Thanks for that, Cloud. I appreciate it. Thanks for the eighth month resub. Thanks for clocking in too. Took you long enough. She's a ghost, my dude. Right? And then what? Yeah, what are we gonna do with that fucking blade? And then you'll have saved the world. We can't stab her, stupid! I think he's asking about what happens after. Actually, that's true. No, he's got a point. He's got a point. I like that's it. Hero? Option. No, you're right. What do you mean, after? Yeah, what are you gonna do to us? You already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away? I mean, we could still probably, like, again? ask her to forgive us. Because I didn't much care for that. Right. I don't want to be stuck in eternity forever. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. Why should I believe you? What an interesting choice of emphasis. Wow, what are you doing not being dead, actually? I don't feel very bad. But I guess I'm not. Not dead. Oh, wait. So you must have only no. mostly killed me. No, shit. She's right. Remember? We were, she said, are you sure this is going to kill me? And we never really made sure that was going to kill her. Or maybe death is only mostly real, but it's also mostly not real. I'm not sure. I'm just the one these things have happened to. I'm not the one with all the answers. Or oh. any of the answers. Let me move you guys just a bit more so it doesn't block the, uh, the text. But we're not a ghost. 
Oh no, we're not doing this yes. shit. No, we hero. Are? Please don't. Please don't do this shit to me, hero. Maybe that's why the mirror disappeared. Oh we my god, hero, please. Dead. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this. I can't. No. Death, at least as a form of permanence, is just a concept. And clearly it's not a very useful one anymore. No, he actually Cold's got a point. Maybe we should throw it out entirely. There's no point in calling someone dead if they're coming back as a ghost. That means they're not actually dead. See, this is why I didn't want you to talk to her. Death is not just a concept, it is an extremely real phenomenon. Don't let her distort your reality. Shut Cold up, Mary. Hard facts Oh my exist. god, you the fucking exist. Stupid. It has to. Dumbass. Death isn't real. Ignore that ghost in front of you that came back from the dead. She's actually, you know, my facts exist. <laughs> Your body's right there, though. You're dead, buddy. The princess glances back at the bones lying on the floor. It's just a body. Do you believe these bones? Or do you believe me? Because those bones aren't talking to you. Oh, God, we're actually doing this. She's seeing things pragmatically. We should do the same. Reality is what's in front of us, not our preconceptions of what it should be. Wait, he's got it a point. It doesn't need to be a static truth. It doesn't need to be objective. You should only believe what's happening in front of you because... As much as people say what might be true, you already know firsthand what is true. And right now, we see her dead body along with a ghost. Narrator, you got anything to say about that or, or, or no? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe you were the first person I've ever seen come back from, a, from being maybe dead. maybe you haven't finished business with me. I mean, I, I don't. I've killed you once. I kind of regretted it. I'm kind of over that now, man. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. What? And what... Where are you supposed to be? Home. What? Oh shit, you're right. Wait, we... I completely forgot. She is literally still a princess in a like in a cabin in the basement. We don't know why she's down there. Just where is home? I wonder. I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from some place far away. She's so big. Well, remember we're also stupid huge. Remember how we looked at the end of the mirror sequence uh, from the last run? We are literally a giant monster dragon thing. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific? I still want to know like what her deal is. How convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. She's this close up to us? She was way closer up to us when she was like right here. I didn't like that. Thank you for not doing that weird ASMR audio thing, by the way. Is there any way I can help you get home? Do you need me to bury those bones? No. Those bones are just a body. They aren't me. Bury them. Smash them. It won't do a thing. That sounds like there's some subtext in there. But you can help me. This place won't let me leave. At least, I'm not alone. Oh wait, are we gonna let her like possess us to like let us leave? I've tried. Before you came back to me. I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls, but I never found a way out. I always wound up right back Okay, remember when I here. said, like, thank you for not doing that weird SMR stuff? I take it back. She's literally doing that right now. She's talking, but then she has, like, that weird, she has that weird whispery voice along with it, that ghost whispery thing that happens. It's like I dual audio. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? It's not something a hero should say. walk out right now and everything will be fine. No, no, no. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. She will be inside of you. I feel like that's probably the way that's gonna go. But it'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting. Yeah, we didn't actually. make a choice last time and you all know how that ended up. So we're gonna make a choice for sure. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hit your ride. You know what? Why not? I I kind of screwed you over last time. I think I owe you one. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay. 
Um. Uh. 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 Mm, uh, okay, I know what I said a couple of seconds ago, but that was before she pointed out the fact that I owed her. O okay? Absolutely not. Uh. Is she asking if she can possess us? Wait, if she possesses us, maybe we could get some context into knowing why she is the way she is. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. But if she possesses you? Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Wait, wait, she'd be aware of the voices then? Yeah, she'd be aware of the hero in the cold voice. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her Wait, who's face him? to face with Oh, the narrator! I wonder what she oh, shit. Have to say to Wait a minute. I like that idea. So, that, so badly. That narrator would be in a, such an awkward position if he if he had to meet up with her. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Uh I don't think I asked for your opinion. I'm looking for around who asked, and I don't see anyone. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. What if I say no? Then I won't get your rod. No, oh, that's very pragmatic. That's polite of you. Oh. You say you- oh, actually no. Oh, fuck. You say you won't, or are you saying you can't? I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. <laughs> wow. But of course. it'll be easier for both of us if you just meet me in. Then doesn't it sound nice? Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here That's true. I already got like three voices in my head, excluding my own. And you, you guys. You not have to feel guilty anymore. If you even do feel guilt. No, I do feel a bit guilty. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. We never even saw her end the world last time. The last two times the world ended was because of the narrator, remember? The first time, reality broke because the narrator caused reality to break. And then the second time... The second time, the narrator just trapped us and said, Hey, you saved the world, but not really, Lamel. That is a very dangerous trap. Again, who asked? If, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? That's what you say, but what you say and what you actually do are two completely different things. That doesn't sound very reassuring. Yeah, you, you do have a point. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good <laughs> intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. Can you trust her? I trust her. I trust her more than the fucking narrator, okay? Everything that she's said, she could do or wanted, she's never really, like, you know, slighted us in the way that the narrator has. Alright, this would just be. Yeah, yeah. If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. I am kind of getting Maybe tired of her non-answers, though. She literally just is like, you know what, that could happen, but that could not happen. Time. Also, thanks for clocking in, CNR. Thank you, thank you. Trust her, it'll be funny, if nothing else. Do you hear the way she said that? She knows more than she's letting on. Don't let her fool you into doing something. No, no, I right. want you and her to fight it out in my brain. Whoever wins can take it over. Okay. Before I agree to anything, like, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. And what? You, you just, just believed that? You killed, killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. No, don't call me out like that. I know I, I know what I did. Because the narrator, again... Again, I feel like the narrator is like the asshole of this entire story. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. Well, she is a ghost. She can't that's stop right. that. Oh, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of her. Narrator? You got anything to say about that? Obviously, it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if all it took to kill you was a knife in the heart? Don't underestimate your own capabilities. If you truly managed to slay her last time, that doesn't mean she wasn't a threat. It means you did something heroic. What? We killed an innocent girl who did literally nothing wrong, and then you trapped us in there forever. 
I feel like you are the villain. Well, I mean, you're not the villain villain, but you are like the minor villain of this Threats story. Threats come in all shapes and sizes. A misspoken word could bring about the end of everything just as much as a blade or even the mere existence of an idea. You trapped us in S MC Escher hell last time. You were chosen for this job for a Who reason. chose me? Did you really kill her if she's still there? We already had that conversation, okay? Like... <laughs> Death is just a concept at this point. That's right, killer. I'm not a threat to anyone. And, and even if I was, I'm hardly a threat anymore, wouldn't you say? I trapped us in MC Escher Hell? No, you're- oh shit, you're right. I had the choice to do that, but he's the one that enabled me, okay? The narrator enabled me. Well, were you what's in the world? I don't know. I Can you stop with these stupid non-answers? I, I need context. I mean, I, at least we know that. She just wants to leave. That's the whole point. What are you going to do if I help you get out of here? Well, go home, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll just, just fade away. Finally, Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. Well, there you go. You guys wanted your uh, cute, gross... Girl, Giaf, you have the chance to. It's a tough question, asking someone yeah, what she's here, going please. to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses. Please the don't there between you, stale and unmoving. Especially when it's someone is dead. Mmm. I know what I did. She pulls back with a playful <laughs> I'm just saying, I was enabled. I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? I wanted to leave. I never had that choice to. Yeah, do you actually want to end the world though? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. I guess we'll find that out on our third playthrough. Even if you didn't want it, does that letting you out mean the world is going to end? It does. Shut up! Who I F I'm about to like mute this guy. Holy shit! We're not asking you. We've heard your. Thank you, hero. Already. Holy shit! I really, really don't, don't know. know. I'm not <laughs> lying to you. Every single time, this I narrator promise. guy just pops in like un un. Uh, what do you call it? Un. Like on his own. The world doesn't matter. All I like remember is that, is that I'm supposed to be there, there, not here. I'm just supposed to be a wait, part of it. Wait, wait, it's, it's, it's wait, wait a minute, it's, I it's, think. it's, that's not, that's not like an actual, unannounced, how's it unannounced? When she's saying it's, and home, she's not meaning like an actual place. I think she's referring to the, to the vessel at the end of time. I think an important piece of the puzzle as to why the narrator is like this is that Mrs. Arm's voice gave us talking about the princess. She is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her able to. So the narrator believes that she's making him forget? But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. That's true. Ending and death don't really mean anything in this world because yes, the world ends, but then it just sort of resets. She died, but then she didn't actually die. I'm not so sure endings are real. They most definitely are not. Uh, I'm sorry I killed you last time. I probably shouldn't have done that. Too little, too late. But you can, you still, can still make things right. right. She's kind of like Haruli if she's in that sense, right? Believing she can do things makes her be able to do them. She believed that she wouldn't die when we killed her and now she's back. So technically she was right. She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Thank you, Colt. I appreciate we that. don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. Wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? Sometimes? I, yes? You know, that that's a thing. No. What? So don't try to make things right. She was going to end the world. You didn't do anything wrong. Aside from, apparently, killing people, <laughs> that doesn't have much to do with her. Yeah, that has to do with you. 
If I knew I ended up, I'd have to wind up talking to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. That, yeah, that's really awkward. And if I knew you were going to murder me without even knowing who I was, I wouldn't have given you the chance. Okay. Oh, okay. We all make mistakes. Can you stop doing that, please? I died to a muffling room like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? How come I'm still a dragon monster and you're a ghost? You don't look dead, killer. No, I died. I 100% died. The princess grabs your wrist, a oh, sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. Wait. Wait, she can... she can... physically interact with me? And you don't feel dead, either. Uh... Damn. My first time holding hands with the opposite gender in this world, and it's with a dead ghost. This sucks. She lets go, pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. Do you say that because that's how you, it looks like, or because that's how it actually is? I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. Yeah, no, I'm actually, you know, she's got a point. I really want to know what I am, too. But we've already been over that. So why don't you stop stalling and let me in? It's so I know, cold out here. I thought like when she would like brushed up near me, that was like me feeling her existence, not actually her like touching me. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself in some sort of set to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that, and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. Are we putting this to a vote? Because personally, I'd prefer if we. Didn't. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want it. I'm just saying like that's po it's a possibility. If that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. I don't see the point of offing ourselves just yet. What is a dead, a miserable pile of seed? That's true, we do we still have no context. After all these deaths, we still really are not one single not one second close to figuring out who the princess is or who the narrator is. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer. But killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. Okay, thank you. So dying would is not in her interest. It would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. I'm like so close to like muting this dude. Like I said, I just, I just want to go At least home. we have enough context to know that when she says home, it's not like a castle. We know where home is. After I killed you, this cabin, I want to say teleported? I wasn't in the woods anymore, time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. You don't sound like you feel sorry for me. Or you know, look after like everything it. we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathizing with us. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? I don't I don't think she actually sympathizes with us, hero. She doesn't mean it. Thank you, Cole. It serves you right. <laughs> I was pretty scared too. When you stood there not saying a word, with a knife clenched in your fist. You didn't look scared. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. Hey, yeah, look at that. We both have something in common now. It sounds like you got exactly what you are owed. Hmm. That sounds like what she actually, like... Okay, the red text... Even though it's sort of scary and spooky, I think it sort of, like, shows her personality, or, like, what she actually really wants. She did look scared as you- She didn't look I think she was more like surprised, if anything, that like we just sort of went up to her without having her like, you know, talk to us at all. Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? We could always try violence. It's worked for us so far. I don't know about that. She's a ghost. <laughs> she- yeah, but we established that we can- like, you know, physically interact. Who says ghosts are immune to violence? I think, oh, well, Colt's got a point. Common sense? There's nothing common or sensible about common sense. Action and observation are the only things. Slay? We already slayed her, Dolphin. The, the, whole re the whole conundrum here is that we killed her once and she came back from the dead. I feel like slaying the princess probably is not the way to go. Fine. Then let me I'd rather observe again. that the acts of killing her and killing ourself haven't Yes, hero, anywhere. thank you. We're still back in this cabin, we're still dealing with her. Only now she has a good reason to Oh, oh us. shit, no, you're. Yes, but, but, hear me out. Narrator. I want to see Narrator get his comeuppance. We haven't been able to get back at the Narrator at all. So I want to see him 
confront the princess. I suppose you have a point. Do you have any idea? Clearly there isn't enough violence. I don't know. Maybe we do what she wants. Maybe we let her possess us and walk out of here. The only thing I don't really see... Am I getting possessed? Um, probably. The only thing I don't see is that from my own, like, benefit, I don't see why we'd want to help the princess. It doesn't really make any sense for us to help her because it doesn't really benefit us in any way. We could. It would be something different. Well, pff, never mind. There's my answer. I like it's just different. different. If Nader is so acutely aware of power, how come... Why does he believe she will end the world? We've never actually seen her end the world, remember? We haven't gone down that path that lets her end the world yet, because there's always something that prevents her from doing that. Absolutely not. If you walk her out of here, she's going to end the world. You keep saying that. I don't see that happening. Is that really so bad? Thank you. That's what I said the first time. Yes. It is by its very definition bad. Yeah, bad for you, maybe. Those are the only options, aren't they? Violence or doing what she wants. Or just leaving her down here. Though ignoring a problem. Solution. We tried ignoring it last time, and we all know how that turned out. If you're really dead, then there isn't much for everything left to do, huh? I guess I'll just get going. Alright, I don't think there's much more for us to talk about. I want to get my blade, and then two of us can fight. <laughs> I can't let you out, and you won't possess me. Grab the princess? Okay. Hope you guys are ready to get possessed. Before she can suspect a thing, you lunge forward and grab her arm. Wait, is this the possession? You feel substance for the briefest of moments, but then you, you feel nothing at all. So she just all phased. Done is clutch at empty air. She she literally just phased. What the heck? Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. Wrong button. But I didn't say you could touch me. You said you wanted to get possessed. Why are you even here? Oh, the position sure the was the thing up. up. What? Oh, was I trying to like let her escape? Wait, what was the option then? Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is now, I guess. Okay, never mind. Well, it didn't really do anything. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what was even that option? What was the point of that? Yeah, I mean, look, come on, grab the princess. That's so. It was there. Okay, grab the princess, but try harder. Wait. Oh, I see. Grab her was to kill you with her bear. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, fine. Let's get you out of here. Let's go see what happens. Probably nothing good, but nothing really good has happened so far in this story. I feel like there's no happy ending. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. I hope you guys enjoyed your last minute minutes of uh, free will because it probably won't exist after this thanks for the body killer you're welcome what are you doing don't just let her in how many times do i have to tell you <sighs> yeah well here's the thing i listen to you nothing good happens so let's try listening to her see you soon she rushes forward and then she's gone a sharp chill spreads across your body it starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing Imagine if you just from die. your heart all the way down <laughs> You your just limbs, literally die here. Your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Okay, you're all backing out all of a sudden. What about you, Cold? Cold? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing oh. pain. Your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary Cold? movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Yeah, I want to see her deal with the narrator. Get up. You've still got a job to do. Huh? Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings. Your vision Wait, what the swimming heck? as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Oh, oh finally! In your every move? Oh, so, shit. It doesn't work like that for you. Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on so, it. So, wow. Surprisingly, not every person has a narrator in their Are head. these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Wait, what? Bro shards of... Wait. Wait, what? Sh 
shards of broken glass? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm- Wait! Yeah, go on, finish the thought. What are you? What? The mirror images from the first encounter? I'm... a voice? I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Wait, so the mirror shards are the voices? They're not in my head? Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the yes, time? Yes, I've been having to deal with everyone yelling in my head non-stop. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. Wait, the narrator is also a shard of broken I'm glass? I'm clearly the same thing you are. Hopefully they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. God, no, we have to deal- well, I mean, yeah, but now you're kind of contributing it to it. No, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. How, different how? How important. How? So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely Wait. even there. Wait. It's like the shape of something left behind. Huh? You're more of a memory than a person. New voice? Okay, basically what happened, if you want some context, um, she- when did you- well, I don't know when you left, but basically she's dead, she was a ghost, she's possessing us, and now she is in our head with everyone else, and now we realized that the voices are now shards of glass, and the narrator is also a shard of glass, but apparently something more important. That's rude. No, that's contextual. You're kind of like me, actually. Wait, what? I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Stop Obviously, narrating. She's nowhere to be seen. Holy shit. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. No, I actually am getting context for the first time in almost three hours. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate Yes, everyone. thank you. Or don't, actually. It doesn't really matter because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Oh, Just that broke? Oh, no. you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Wait, what? I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Then don't think. Just move. Okay, now you're also being just a little bit manipulative. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? It's so weird how they capitalize he, like, you know, like a pronoun, like it's supposed to be more important than the rest. I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. Uh oh. Well, it's there we crowded. go, I guess. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. Wait, it's not echoey anymore. What? It's not echoey. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, do you? Do you? Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? No, she's getting a lot more comfortable. Wait, he also, does he, did the voice of the hero also sound like that? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. She's not- it's not ghostly because she's in a body? But it was ghostly before down in the basement, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the no, world. No, 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 we know- we know where it is. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end or something else begin? Does the destruction Cold, you need to, like, stop waxing, like, another? poetic man. Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane hey. conjecture of meaningless Space. little voices, or night? your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how oh, it got unghostly and I didn't realize it. A whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Because he can't. It's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? I knew it! I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. I'm actually kind of glad I went down this route. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. You were just a voice in my head. Actually, you're not even a voice in my head. You're like a shard of glass in my pocket. Hey, look, it's the dagger. And wine. 
This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure she has, like, more power. Take the blade? Wait. I can take the blade. But what would taking the blade do? Would I just end myself? Is that really what would happen? I'd end myself and then... He's specifically less than even that. Is that what they meant contextually? Hmm. Be free? Alright, you know what? We won't take the blade. We'll just keep on going. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavy. Well, I guess the idea would be that, like, you know, we regretted it, so we end ourselves before she can get out. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. I still want to know why this is a, is a claw, it, a hand. Exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. I knew it! No see, you stalling. So all the shit he's Let's saying... see what happens next. All the shit he's been saying every single time, in case you guys didn't realize it also, um, is not true. Everything that he's been saying is just him describing shit. It's not actually, like, you know, actually happening. Alright, let's see what happens. Priscilla already said he wasn't like the others. Yeah, they never said what he was. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door grows open. Wait, he said, hey, you can't, you can't swear here. We're gonna put you into the swear jar. Collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Y you heard that, right? He just faded out. Uh, yes? Oh. Yeah. We're back here? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it covered. I know, Jesus Christ, that guy was annoying. What about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? They're taking her out of the cabin. I wonder why he was the only one that, like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Did we leave something? Did we leave something behind inside the cabin that would that would make him disappear? No, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Why did he- why did he fade out? We got away from the cabin, and then he, like, disappeared. No? Hmm. That's- that's really weird, though. Maybe she managed to kick him out of my head, then? He's not a- I know he's not a part of me, but why- why was he- why is he gone now? And he's the only one that's gone. We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, uh, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends? They're just part of the world? Or the other world, but oh, in it. Oh, actually, that makes sense. We never be part of the world. I know he faded out, but everything faded out at the very end of the existence. Because, you know, the reality broke. Alright. Let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. You feel a lightness. Wait, I got an achievement. Pick up a passenger and take her to her destination. Feel in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up towards you. Guessing not. Well, well, it ends well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain, so I'll live up to mine. Thanks. Hey, look. She actually didn't kill us. Don't mention it. I think... this is where I'm meant to be. We persisted, we persisted after everything else faded. See, that would be very spooky, but we sort of already know what's what's going on. Memory returns. Wait, are we gonna have cold voice now with us? She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? No, we know, we I know what's going on. Why is it here? Why now? Wait. Oh shit. Wait. Wait. He. The hero doesn't know. The voice of the hero doesn't know. Maybe we'll get- I don't know if we'll get Contrarian back. Hero- Let's go explain things to the hero. Maybe he'll- Maybe- 
maybe he'll be a bit. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of it. Just trust me, bro. Man, that's kind of sad, isn't it? This entire this entire game has just been just trust me, bro. You don't need to comfort him. Whatever is going on on the other side, it's going to be nice. Okay. If you say so. I kind of want to know, you. can we bring, like, voices of Cold and Hero and Contrarian to Whatever the side? Whatever makes you... Probably happy. not, huh? Well, if not, thanks for hanging out with me, Cold and Hero. I'll be seeing you soon. Here we go. The mirror always makes them leave, so I guess we can't really bring them with us. Wait, I've grown. What? Wait, I've grown. Wait, what am I? What am I? I know I'm a monster, but I don't know what I am. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Here we go. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. So now again. she's the dead version of herself. Wait, there are three different versions of herself, right? Remember from the vessel that we saw that we weren't supposed to see originally? It was the dead version, the live version, and then some other version that we never really were. <gasps> she's the hands? No, she's everything. Are you the same as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new These fragments you bring back just a piece to communicate I with? I am different, but I am the same. I mean, we're not really in getting enlightened apart from the fact that we're like getting bigger. She's the one that's sort of gaining enlightenment. She is basically merging with her like experience of whatever happened in this timeline. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Yeah, Buddhist, Reincarnation, and Christian, all life is one theory. I'm not even sure if that's like a thing. I don't know what the angle it's going for for this is because we already established that death wasn't really a, like, a thing. Perspectives melt together and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Imagine if she was just becoming more and more human. Maybe that's the entire point of this like game, is just becoming like human in nature. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. I guess that's, yeah, that, that makes sense. People change as they keep growing up. What you want when you're like you're a child is gonna be different from what you want as a teenager, is what will be different from what you will want when you're you know, an adult or older. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Just kill her, man. Make her shut up. We literally did that. Have you <laughs> missed the entire context of this entire game? We literally killed her, and that's why she's like this. You know, at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this Should have killed her together. again? I'm pretty Thank sure we would have been railroaded to into ending up in this into this like there is the remember that we got an achievement the illusion of choice there are a lot of paths but they still end up within certain 
endings. In this ending, I'm pretty sure she would have possessed you regardless of what would have happened. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Oh, wait, this actually makes sense in the context. Like, we can't do the same choices. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to Oh, I didn't even realize that! Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet on tread. Huh. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Actually, that's true. Uh, well, Hero w was like, okay, but he hasn't really been kind. He's just been kind of meek. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Uh, what do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. So you don't have any preferences on how you like the changer girl? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. So she's basically saying no matter what happens, she'll accept our choice. Well, I mean, we only have a choice. <laughs> That's the whole point of it, isn't it? Hmm. How many more vessels do I have to bring to you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time. The interview means you can't get cold anymore. Cold was cool. Kind of got weird, though. Alright, uh, before anything else, let's go save. I want to see what happens if I destroy my own body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into your space, where your body should be, you feel nothing at all. Question how she feels when you brought all you've brought is hurt. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Well, that doesn't really do anything then, I guess. Alright. And what about How do you feel? The vessels are shaped by memories of you but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. I wonder if the dev binged too many VNs and Evangelion before writing this. <laughs> this is probably the most meta contextual VN I've played so far. I know there are some other VNs I exist that are like aware that they're visual novels, but like. This one makes sense within the context of it being meta, I guess you could call it, because of like how it is here at the end, the, the long quiet, I guess. This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. So she died early on, but the fact that because she had such a life of regret and stuff that she could never have, it makes her have an understanding heart because she wanted everything beyond escaping the cabin. It's kind of sad. It's really tragic, kind of, if you think about it. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. All right, let's go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect um, on who I am. Keep in mind, this might be a bit loud again. We will meet again. 
Oh, I warned you guys. An evanescent vessel. Bring the specter to her. You're on a path in the woods. I think and I can see this of that I mean, There is a skip option on there, so it's going to go to the places we've already done. Okay. Uh... Okay, thanks for telling Don't me what to do. It. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Let's skip. Hmm. The so interior of the this? cabin is almost entirely um, bare. The air is... We took the blade last time. Let's see. Let's go enter the basements. And we will. The door to the basement I guess creaks open, befriend her? revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This, we, this is not skippable, so we this haven't seen this yet, technically. Place. I forgot the knife. Yeah, I'm the not using the knife. The heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably something doing tells her me it's not going to be as simple as just like taking her and leaving. Even if she, like, trusts us or not. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. There's no skip here, which means I guess the dialogue is different whether or not you have the knife in your hand. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here. Yeah, yeah, it is different. I'm here to save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before sleep you deprived. finally sink Tell me in. I'm always sleep deprived. That's why we're Wait, here. really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Wait, wonder what would happen? This would be kind of fucked up. I wonder what would happen if, like, you tricked her and then you didn't actually save her. Is that, like, an option? Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. We already know she's very, very manipulative. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. The mood is very different the far wall of the than before, isn't it? With the knife. She's beautiful. How wait, could someone like this wait a be minute. A threat to anyone? Wait a minute. You got you remember when what happened when reality broke and we saw five different versions of her? No. You, so depending on how you approach her, her personality will, will be different. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Have we slain the princess? Many times. This is our third time slaying the princess. Well, technically, yeah. This will be our third time. Because she died the first time by turning into an eldritch being. Second time, we personally killed her. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. Slain twice, slayed once? Um, well... No, not, not not the third part. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. The end of the story? Hold on, let's talk a bit first. Yeah, I want to know, why are you here? Maybe, are you actually going to, like, give me some context? Okay... Oh, look, she's mopey and sad. Is she gonna just say her name is Princess? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. This is the first time we've actually like had a one-to-one -one with her, isn't it? It's kind of weird. You can address me as your Royal Highness. <gasps> I remember you this! Can just call me Princess if your Royal Highness is too formal. <gasps> Wait, we've seen all of these. We've seen all of these. Is a mopey? her name on A mopey is different, okay. What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? princess. <laughs> so Princess is your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's I wonder weird. I do want to like talk to her when she was like being sad and depressed. I wonder how you reached that, like version of the princess. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. 
go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. Use the blade to pick locker? Maybe. Hmm. We don't. Nerja doesn't. Cold and Contrarian didn't. If you actually no, this is as, this is a good point. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. That's a bit sus. No, that's the wrong answer. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Are you 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 should agree with my question because that makes her very questionable. Okay, but actually. What has Don't she dig been? too deep, only rescue? She I has do. to eat. But I kind of want to know like the context, though. I wasn't here to slay you, you're supposed to, only supposed to end the world. What? I want to see for myself, I'm still not sure what to believe. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone, I, I like the world, I think. You think? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. It can't be that simple. We all know it can't be that simple because we know how it's been so far. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end They the did world? not. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. I don't know how to destroy the world if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. Hero, you are so fucking gullible, man. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Hmm, that's true, and... Narrator has not been exactly trustworthy. I've never been trustworthy of him ever since second ending. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Yeah, we're... Narrator, come on, man. You literally have no ground to stand on at this point. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. But we already know how manipulative Princess can be, so... She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. Do I, like, get no other... I guess I won't get another voice in my head until... Until the second part of this route. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? Narrator, a figment of freedom is the end of him. Technically, all our lives are, like, interconnected if you think about it. The narrators, the princesses, and mine. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. I still remember under- yeah, narrator can't even kill her because he is not capable of killing her, remember? Because we learned that from the possession ending. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. <laughs> I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I just stayed a while and kept you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. Actually, I do want to see what would happen if I say this. She'd probably get pissed off, right? Like, why aren't you saving me or something? That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Oh, she's talked with people and she's like, I could, this is a taste of what I could have, but I need, to, I need more of it. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. That's what you keep saying, narrator. And what you say and what you do are two completely different things. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of uh, here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. Um, uh, starting to see a bit of her true colors here. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. 
you have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our Interesting sakes, change of music. the right one. You mean the lack thereof? I wonder what would happen if you get the blade. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of interested. What if you get the blade, but then you just come back? Won't you just use it against you then? Thank you. You turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. Unless I get, like, get locked into a different route entirely. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. I come to want to see how this route will play. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. I'm gonna kill her now? Uh, I don't know about that. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the I don't think turning her back on voice. someone who has just made a thinly veiled threat bluffing. is a good idea. Rip romance around? Don't worry, it's She it's has there. to be bluffing, but hurry. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade. If it just if it locks us into like the uh, only possible salvation. into the uh, death route again, the specter. Wait, no, no, no! Remember what they said? We can't. It won't be the same route as before because the specter route would get locked. Remember, because what we said to her, like there's an invisible wall. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save after all. That means there's probably something different here. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Something tells me we're probably going to die. Where the princess sat only a moment ago. Oh shit! It's only a severed eye. It's cooling flesh. Jump scare changed most the likely incoming. And she is so probably watch your volume. Is it just me, or did this room get a lot bigger? Actually, this room is a lot bigger. Uh. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start oh, over? you coward. <laughs> no. I don't think we can. Uh. Why don't you come closer? I have something to show you. Uh, no, I think we can just... Wait, what the fuck? Oh god, that's a... Uh... That, that, that's not good. She lost an arm. I'm locking her down and letting her bleed out. This is a dangerous play. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. You can finish she this ripped right off her own arm. Are you are you dumb or what? Tell you, let's go lock her. Yeah, let's. You know what? I don't think I need to. Let's go just lock her away. I'll even t stay here a while to make sure she's dead. You close the basement, locking it behind you, and quickly barricade. Oh, I like the this. Actually, I like this a lot. Once held I, I like this a lot. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound, and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. You don't want to slay Beryl? We've already slayed Princess many times. Settle in against the far This wall is the fourth, third time. The fourth time? Third time. Third time. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids heavy with fatigue. Uh -oh. But sleep doesn't come. Uh oh, oh Instead, no. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, oh, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me in? Ah, so we've turned into traditional horror this time. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your hmm, best. Do we have any choices her. at this point? Not really, huh? When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did. This is the first uh, time we've forget. actually been like in an actual horror route, huh? Apart from like the jump scares. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting. It sounds like she's getting stronger and faster. No. It doesn't. Narrator, you want to like actually give me advice now? I'm I'm ready and willing to actually listen to you. God damn, dude. I'll, I'll turn down on you guys. I know it's a bit loud on your end for like the binging. Ignore and go to sleep. They ain't on the door all you want. They only need to bleed out. Go faster. Do you think losing an arm is actually enough to do me in? I can always find another. I'm not as frail as you think. Suffer. 
put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against them. You jolt awake in the middle of the night. You stupid the idiots. You, man, you are a bad hero. Hero, you are not a good. Your diligence is not good, man. The table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping uh -oh. me get out of that awful basement. Uh oh. You try and stumble uh, to your feet, but as oh the God. princess draws near, it's as though your body simply Narrator, stops you back. are so useless. And all at once, the paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, hmm. unable to do anything. So this is what she's capable so, of, I see. Whose side are you on? Yeah, whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation remember, doesn't change them. Remember, he's just narrating. He doesn't actually, he's not actually describing the real truth of the situation. He can't actually control us. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps oh. closer. Oh. One silent There's just some at a time, cocking her head big eyes. curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Oh god, that sounds awful. Or maybe... I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Uh, I don't know your about that. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end. Don't we? Well, I mean, not really. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it Narrator, is. Narrator, you are like the worst like gig ever. Everything Holy shit. Everything goes dark. And you die. <laughs> the nightmare. Oh, okay. I'm liking this now. I'm liking this a lot. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I wonder how this will be now. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end. I know, of the this world. is gonna be a crazy ass chapter too. I'm I'm really excited. She's going to kill me again. Again? People oh yeah, we don't said that. remember what happened. Yeah, we saw that. Shh. What if he hears us? Oh we got the paranoid! We got the voice of the paranoid! That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? The music sounds extremely fitting, finally. This would be a very good, interesting concept for like a D&D &D campaign, for sure. Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We have a world to save after- Okay, what would happen if we just leave with the voice of the paranoid? I want to see what'll happen. You have already committed to my completion. Uh oh, huh? What? You cannot go further astray. Oh yeah, that's that must be the invisible, the uh, the invisible wall thing. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes. To yeah, I tried leaving me. before. I guess it won't work. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. That's that's true. Okay, I'll give him that. That is exactly what happened. We couldn't trust either of you. As far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? It, it did not. No comment. <laughs> well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to I wonder how many different fight. voices and like endings you can get. Your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other I don't doesn't. know. Like, if I release her, then I was just as much of a threat to the world as the princess was. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions yeah, we said that last time. mean. Of course, there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back. Too? Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. Yeah, that's that's really awful. 
you your organs just shut down one by one and you feel it you literally just feel your body shut down slowly and that's only scratching the surface if what do you think the people there lived happily ever after or do you think that the princess left unhindered brought about the end to everyone and everything just like i told you she would if she brought an end to everything and everyone how are we supposed to stop her what do you want from us i want you to succeed it would have been pretty You'll interesting find a way. you're the only one who can if like we actually listen to the narrator and maybe i would like have a better opinion of him after all after all this let's talk about this princess just be quick about it just being around her in the end shut down all my organs what the hell am i supposed to do about that like i said if she killed you it was probably because you didn't listen to me don't talk to her don't trust her just go in do your job and save the world you from last time she's just a princess how can you possibly justify saying that she's clearly something far far yeah she is a lot more than just a princess she is just a princess whatever you think happened to you last time just get it out of i your know head. what she More is i need some context so i know what i'm dealing with who locked her in that basement people locked we saw her that in. last time yeah <sighs> special just go just into doing something by i don't know i can we all okay, saw that? Maybe you can goad him into doing something, but he's I'm not goading you into doing anything. You already know the princess is dangerous, and for what it's worth, we don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do want to leave, but he won't let us. I've told you everything you need to know. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? I wonder How if like actually give us context her? into like what kind of person the princess is now because we learned about the narrator on the second run and we learned about the overall arching story on the first run so maybe we'll learn about the princess now not to sound like a broken record but the less you know about her the better things will go for all of us i know it sounds like i'm hiding something but you're just going to have you to take are me hiding something he isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us which means that we can't trust him stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already fine but you i'm just saying you're giving us less of a chance to actually to survive get out of here great now if you don't mind the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin all right let's do it i guess a warning before you go anything. paranoid is correct paranoid is like 100 percent like justified honestly she will lie she will cheat i don't think lying and cheating is a thing she was very direct with us last time or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away no yeah she was 100 percent like killing us it doesn't matter don't trust anyone yeah like the narrator let's go see how to look the interior of the cabin is what? plain the smooth wood of the wall was almost featureless the only furniture of note is a lone table. Wait, what? It's on its side in the corner of the room. A oh god, the eyes, there's eyes. Between oh god, there's eyes the there. They're looking at us. Oh fuck. That's not good. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. All right, we'll take the blade with us this time. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door. Yeah, there was a door. Time. Now it's a hallway. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Yeah, imagine if she just wasn't down there at all. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already. You've been wronged that. once before. You, you weren't even sure about the, like this, you're going to the ghost. To get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Uh, let's go check the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Let's go see if Paranoid has anything to say about this. About? You reach forward and rub your... Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating. Can you stab the mirror? It hidden so That's bad. a good point, actually. I'll go grab the dagger next time and then I can see if I can interact with the mirror. Alright, let's go take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Mm, I don't know about that. He's Is still it pretty gonna be much... enough, though. Couldn't you have given us something else? Something I don't know. 
Yeah, can you like me a Better gun or something? A knife? I, <laughs> Do we have a bomb? She's literally like a psychic, so you know, I don't think we can just knife her to death. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. It's 11 p.m. I need to eat. Oh my god, why? Oh, it's only 11. Oh shit. Actually, yeah. You're actually stepping early. Holy shit. Well, thanks for dropping by, Fef. I appreciate it. A holy hand grenade is a definitely a minimum. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. He definitely knows. This whole cabinet is different than I remember it being. Very different. Calm down. Oops. I'm the only one who sees her in the window, right? She knows that we're here. Is that her? I don't know if that's her. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Need a romance run? We're definitely going to do a romance run before tonight's over. You Whoa. cross over the threshold and onto a series that's a, that's of isolated eye. Those steps. Those are eyes. Those are blinking eyes. Darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. Those are some really crazy-ass stairs. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Imagine if we actually had to do a platformer game in Renpi. That would be something. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. Oh god, she remembers. <laughs> she actually remembers. She, she fucking remembers. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. No, it won't, narrator. We're going to need a plan. I'm... I'm Wait, what? Step off into the void between the stairs. What? That's a thing? Yeah, let's go. What if I can just do it? Finally, a voice of reason. The rest of you should take notes. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. No, but I think they're all point. They the all have a point. Stairs. As you emerge, oh my you God. find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. We saw this before. When... What seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. We saw this path before when reality like all merged into one area. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Well, not this, but we saw the uh, the steps, the brown, the stone steps. Are you really not gonna comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. You, what? Why? We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop. I feel kind of bad for paranoid. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start. Moving. You have a lot of confidence in someone who, like, already died once, man. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. She's so sadistic. What the hell? Go back the way I came. What if I do nothing? You decide it's best to do nothing. There you oh. are. Oh. I told you I was going to find you. Oh. Uh. Uh. She's a lot creepier than last time. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Oh no. Your arms quickly follow. Wow, just like last time, we're about to die. This is it, isn't it? And you brought a little knife with you. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! She's like a doll. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Oh, so she he's aware that he, she's not supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. I I, I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this, guys. Oh! Out as your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Um, I don't think I even had the chance to talk. That was very sudden. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes Wait, I hear him. Paranoid. Heart, 
Paranoid? What are you doing? Paranoid? I'm working. Oh my god, paranoid! Holy fuck! And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Oh my god, paranoid's actually controlling the body. Okay, whatever you were doing. Oh my god! Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? You want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm Come on, sure. paranoid! Come on, paranoid! Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp. Holy shit! Breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Okay, we just need a stabber. We just need a stabber. Oh, well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Is that all she can do? Why? That's all she can do. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her. And end this before it's too late. All consistent with the idea that belief in reality doesn't make princess makes that reality. I actually, that's kind of true. The first time we saw her, we had the narrator break our perception of reality, and that's what happened. The second time, we killed her, but then we were like, did we actually kill her? And she came back from the dead. The third time, uh, we got really paranoid about her having abilities, and then we, well, not look at this now. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, oh, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. No, I, I don't want to kiss this version of her. She's making paranoid way to the sexy and fun. Bringing her mask lips close to your ear. Uh, I want to see you fun. That's a bit loud. All I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver. Oh god, nerves. paranoid. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet. Oh come on, paranoid, don't don't, don't feel me. Come on, paranoid. It feels like static. And then oh. Oh. snap out of it. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. We're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves. One moment. Lungs, and then liver, you're gone. Nerves. Just See, now the thing is, that I'm not really sure about, is it Paranoid, the one that's causing us to help us live, or is she just toying with us? Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Did you just tell us that she's like just a... Actually, no, that makes sense. So narrator doesn't want to tell us everything because she's capable. Well, I don't know if that's like us, if that's us making us bend reality, or if it's the princess herself. If it wants to work together, can you just turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Actually, yeah, that makes that makes more sense now. How about I just kill you? Oh. But imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear. Thinking about that knife, are we? I am thinking about that knife, the one I brought down. Put that little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Hmm. Is the knife really the only way to like? Because even if you make me dead, you are not getting out of here. Uh oh. She's she's. This place is mine. She's convincing. And I'm not giving you the stairs unless I'm leaving with you. Oh, I see. So... Do I really have a choice? I don't have a choice, do I? I can try... I can try slaying her, but I feel like that's not what's gonna... work. It's not gonna work, obviously. I know for a fact it's not gonna work. I feel like what's gonna happen is that the blade won't work. She's gonna laugh at us, so we're gonna have to stay in the nightmare. I feel like is what's gonna happen. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. She's. It's not working, guys. I knew it. We did it. We actually did it. No, we didn't. 
<laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs, liver. Oh God, paranoid! Come on, just keep working, man. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. No exit. Uh oh. Wait. Wait. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh. I can stop now, can't I? Um, guys? We have no way to get out. No, we, we can't get out. She convinced us. Her last. Her last. Fuck you. Was that she convinced us that we can't leave without the stairs. So now we're gonna be stuck here. We can't. There's no stairs. She convinced the main character that there are no stairs. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right. Narrator is going to be like, no, I can't. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Fucking narrator. I knew it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate Well, this. I know how this is going to end. Time passes. Forever's going to end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I mean, no, it does have an end. It's just that there's a loot that body. We already look for people who've been here since that's the start of the stream. We already know how it's gonna end. Okay, <laughs> there's no two ways about it. We know how it's gonna go. I say, hey, cuckoo, 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 Keru, VT, <laughs> nice frog emoji. Oh, for Thanks for sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? Yep. Here we go. What do you mean? We already had this discussion before. We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. We do? Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess <laughs> it hasn't stopped us How's the game? Um, creepy and a bit uh, edgy. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want there to die? We're stuck down here forever. You got any other better ideas? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. Exactly. You're right. I don't. Yeah, what are we gonna stay here rot forever? But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter oh, if we wait, die? Wait, I like this. Why do you care? I like this. I like this a lot. I just do. I value life. Every life. No, Even that's yours. that can't be right. That can't be right. Especially yours. Why? What do you mean why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. It's because our life is tied to yours. I think you know that. It's not like if it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. Ah, yes. The whole looping thing. How unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. <gasps> Wait! Wait a minute! Holy you? shit! Paranoid! Dude, Paranoid is so keen! What the hell? You're only supposed to be here. He knew! This guy fucking knew! Of course I did. Though, I rather hoped I was the first one. But that explains a lot. He knows I'm looping! Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. Whose world? And mine. You say the world, but whose world? She's dead, and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? Yeah, he, he didn't care about Princess's life. He doesn't care about every single life, that's true. He just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Uh, wait, guys. I think I did this wrong, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, I know they said there was no wrong choice. But remember what our main goal was supposed to be? It was supposed to... We were supposed to lead this princess to the long, quiet river that was... At, it was like the end of the time. And now she's dead. I don't think we'll go to lead her that way. I think what we were supposed to do here, most likely, was wait out the nightmare. 
can you tell me your secrets now? But although we do get context within the story, because now, now we know that the narrator is aware of the time loops. No. Okay, jackass. Still no. I want to wear you down eventually. You're not going to wear me down. No, yeah, I can. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. Come on, paranoid. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Either way. At least needling him is something to do. We can't unkill her, but we can go down this time, this uh, route again. The narrator ignores you. No. You can't just describe yourself ignoring. <laughs> I can. Yeah. Well, I'll keep the narrator asking. continues to ignore you. Aw, oh, man. Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. So I will die. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Are you stuck here with us, or are you going to be capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Kind of grim. What the heck? Feelings mutual. At least we're all being <laughs> So he doesn't like us. He definitely doesn't like us. What's schooling? Sloppy sledgers. We have trailblazing skid marks all over some slayed bozos. Yeah, here's a bozo right here. We just slayed her. I get it. You don't want us to die because be lonely. How sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us, and I'm I sure mean, you'll start he's been with us this right. entire time. His entire existence has been with us. Remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? Oh, I think you know the answer. Although I kind of do. Are we gonna loop into like this netmer world again? What if we throw into the void? Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh wait, is it just not in your grip and fling the blade? As hard <laughs> I guess we're just gonna starve here now. Blade. Whoops. It's gone. Now you're really stuck here forever. There's no, no way I can, out now. I I can. You mean other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. Oh, it's time for the long wait. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from... Yeah, that's really grim. Why did I do that? Passing time. <laughs> I probably should not from passing. have done that. The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. I mean, you would kind of pass out and you die, or not die, but you dehydrate like in three days or so. You really shouldn't have tossed the blade. What's gonna happen now, since no. we don't have it? You really shouldn't have, but biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, Everything goes dark, and you die. Damn, that's grim. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here. So he is aware. She isn't slain there. Chapter 3. Wait, the wraith? Wait, what? You're what? on a path in Wait. the wood. Wait, shit. This really doesn't end, does it? Wait, what is this? It doesn't matter. Wait, we third kill chapter? Her. It doesn't matter if what? she kills us. It just goes on and on. And Wait, this on is and what? On and on. So there was, I, I, I guess, I guess there was no wrong answer for, for that. Yes, so it does. <gasps> Cold, Cold is back. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. Wait, Cold is back, dude. What if? We do what she asked us to last time. What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Well, he's aware. Right. <laughs> he's aware so of the three different voices in my head now. Wait, is Hero here? Oh no. To the world. Wait, Hero's gone? Is Hero gone? Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? I know, right? We've already done it twice. <laughs> death is kind of a non-factor here at this All point. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods, 
where we're forced to listen to your empty walls. Oh, hero is here? Okay. And again. This place feels a bit different, though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. So we have hero, cold and paranoid. I wonder if we'll ever see, um... What's, what's his name? Uh, the guy at the first at the very beginning that we ran into? Our first voice? Voice of the... Uh, I forgot. Start with them with C. That's all the more reason to take Contrary and that was it. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. If it's already starting to end, uh, why save it in the first place? Her influence? We keep getting new chapters until we bring Miss Arms Void her new vessel. Oh, so we can give her the vessel on chapter two, or we can give her to her on chapter wherever. But regardless, we have to let her leave the world. We have to let her escape the world. I'm assuming. I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out. You could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job. All right. Great. Let's just hurry. Are you the same narrator? That we met in the other loops? Yeah, the other narrator, he didn't really accept it, but here, like, we actually... He's actually, like, accepted it really quickly. Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities. Parallel realities? <sighs> me, you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. The thing is, I wonder, would it have been really possible to reach chapter 2's end with the paranoid route, or with the, uh, what's it called? With the, um, going down and back up the stairs again, with her being like really creepy? Or we, we have been railroaded into like this route regardless. I mean, I guess that's the whole point. You're really not sure unless you just go back and play it yourself. But that kind of defeats the whole purpose of like knowing it. So, yes, I'm the same me. But ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves. But he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him. I like how Cold still like hates the narrator for a good reason. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest oh, no. you use it. I still have no idea what like you're actually on about, man. You had the option to go outside and inside with her last time. Could have just taken her outside, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how you get like her alive version. We have okay. So we have three different versions of her at the end, right? We've got her ghost version, her dead version, and her alive version. I feel like this will be the way that she like dies in this version. We've been killed by her. We killed her and been killed up here, and none of this is gonna have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. Actually, that is true. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. What the heck is the correct choice? Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. I wonder if, like, the paranoid... Yeah, the paranoid feels very, very self-aware at this point. I feel like I could trust him for, like, pointing out stuff that we normally, like, wouldn't notice. A princess slayed too hard, I suppose. We, yeah, we slayed the princess. It didn't really work out well for us. So, hey, Dippington. Let's jump by. second thought. Let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. Damn, I like... Cold is like the intrusive thoughts, but the intrusive thoughts always win. 
What happens if we don't go to the cab ship? To the cabin, that's also another option. And she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's gotta be better. Right? Yeah, we don't have to deal with her. She's, I mean, obviously she's like stupid strong. Why would we have to run into her? No, it's strictly worse. Why? Why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. What? I followed your advice. I killed her. And that did nothing. And we loop back here. You continue down the path towards the cabin. We literally killed her on on your behalf. And then we just got stuck in the void forever. Well, until I starved to death. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations... Okay, now we're finally, like, to do. getting to the point where he's like, yeah, 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 you already know what to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. I wonder what would happen if you actually did let her out, like, right now. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Oh, Let her out. he doesn't care. Do what I care. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I have your, I have his permission. Okay. It sounds like. I have his permission. You guys heard it. You guys heard it here. Is he trying to <laughs> reverse psychology? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes. I'm done trying to argue. Are we really just supposed to let her out? Is it really that simple? What was reading? What reading? What did he say? So basically, he's like given up on trying to convince me to do anything. Because the more he tries to convince me, the more the others are like, no, we can't trust him. We should let him out. So he's like, all right, I'm not going to say anything so that, you know, they stop. Shut they can actually like shut up. I'm not very good at slaying the princess. Hey, I slayed her like twice, okay? Would you look at that? Three times. We won. We won. Take it however you will. The narrator is just completely done with everything. The interior Whoa. of the cabin is long and dark. A single narrow hallway. The mirror, the mirror's back. The distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building. Clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is. Wait, is he aware? That's Wait, strange. Is he aware? What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? Oh, he's not aware of the mirror. mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all aside from the curtain. Oh god, the blade's gone. It's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? The blade's gone. Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either. So why would it be there this time? I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Hold wasn't there last Played time we saw the mirror, huh? Doesn't really matter. I wonder if he can see it. Well, actually, we'll have to approach the mirror. Let's pretend there's a mirror at the end of the hallway and that we can't. Right now we can't see it. What's there? What's behind it? You're asking what's at the end of the hallway. Oh, shit. The way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying? end of the hallway there's just an opening again so we already know that's gonna be the same as her from last time she's gonna be aware that we killed her last time i don't think i like that very much he didn't say door wait did he didn't he? wait what did he say it's the way to the basement no i didn't say door because there's an opening door. it's just an opening it's just like last time isn't it instead of a visible empty void Oh no, I don't like that. Paranoid, don't say that. Paranoid, please. Oh fuck, you're right. We threw into the void. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh god. I assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. Certainly not the princess. Ah. Uh, princess mm, is in the basement. Who knew? Actions have consequences. All right, maybe the mirror can help us out. You slowly make your way towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. 
You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. You better not be wrong that there's nothing behind there. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. Hold, I need your advice, man. Give me advice what to do. How do, how do we get back at the narrator? You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. I hate that I know what's about to happen. We're going to reach out, so much and worse. it's going to disappear. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Yep, I knew it. Well, that was a close one. All right, jump scare time. Oh, lead up for nothing. Hopelessly staring into I guess the not. Void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Kill her first chance? We don't have a weapon to kill her. Shit. Where is she? Is she behind me? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long. This music is not not good, I think. She, the princess, constraints. Oh. oh. Oh god, that's not good. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs numb with the shock of it. Damn, did I softlock myself because I threw the knife away? Oh shit! The terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice. Her grin carved I'm, jagged from the My leg is crowded. Still, I'm still a monster. Long and crooked teeth. Oh god. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so uh, so close to freedom. She doesn't look like a princess anymore. She looks the farthest thing away from a princess. Are you wearing anything? Probably not. I'm pretty sure we're like a f like a well, yeah, we're a furry or a scaly or like a dragon or something. So now I'm going to take yours and I'm going to walk it out of here. Oh, so this is how we let her escape. And you, you get to watch me do it, completely helpless, just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. It's different. It way <laughs> All right, cold. Different. Never change, man. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. I know those are scales, but this seems like... F is that really scales? It looks more like fur. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy. Well, I mean, he is cold. He probably doesn't feel anything. It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy... Feathers? You can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. How are we getting out of this one? Something tells me we're not. We need to explain to you why pain You guys are... Bad. There's a lot more stuff to worry about than whether or not pain is good. You need to explain to yourself. This fucking what infighting, holy shit. I thought you couldn't possess me on your own. I thought I needed to agree to it. Yeah. Now is then. This Wait, is what? Now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look, we're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. It's water under the bridge, right? I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now I've become something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. She has definitely seen better days. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. My leg has not seen better, has definitely seen better days. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. Is this really? You oh fuck. Into the floor of the oh shit. As the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your That is not, that is not normal. She's like... She doesn't even exist on the bottom! Considering her current state, would you say the narrator was right in telling you to kill her? We did kill her! We literally- did you miss out on the fact that we literally killed her before in the last chapter? Her oh god. Until her face is practically touching yours. That's a bit too close. Uh, uh, just a bit too close. Twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? Hero. Crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I <laughs> fucking narrated. Okay, the only few times, the only few times that narrator like is like, okay, do what you want. It's about right when we're about to get fucking possessed and die. 
Her waist is definitely snatched. If she's gonna take over your body, then why is she actively crippling herself by crushing your ankle? Uh, probably to just paralyze us, you know? Well, but so that we can't get away, but so that she can easily possess us. Not like this. No, like <laughs> he said, not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I. So I wonder if this would have turned out differently if I didn't toss the the dagger away. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh wait, if she possesses like, if she possesses us again, that means she's gonna talk with the narrator, and everyone else in my head, right? Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. I wonder what she'll say now that she is like this way. Everything is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm Old sure is taking things in stride. Holy shit. Your vision oh. fades. She a bit too tears close. open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once so again this is how we let her escape. Hallway. Your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. You kind of broke my leg, didn't you? So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Oh. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is Yeah, because it's broken. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body. <laughs> Thank you, Cole. It around I appreciate your your insightful comments, as always. Is that really... We left her... How long did we leave her down in the basement for? We were going to let you out of it. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. That's true. That is actually true. Were we? No, yeah, that was true. I was. I, I was I was with Hero. I know you were, but you were going to do it for the wrong reasons. What, what wrong what reasons? What reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> oh, uh, well... Damn, he really, hero? Holy shit. We weren't always like this. We. She was in there for five minutes? Maybe, but for her, it could have felt like an eternity. We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her one. I kind of want to see. Should we do that? Wait. What if we. What if we throw her into the basement and we just can't let her escape? Is that like. I kind of want to see how far this will go, how badly this could turn out. We could get another. We could get another uh, voice. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blood. Become the next princess. Slinted ankle takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. That is a really disturbing your sound. Body reduced to a marionette. Pulled reluctantly along by your strings. It's not that bad. The pain feels good. There is no good. That's that's Cold's uh thing, man. Throw your body into the abyss. All right, why not? Let's go be spiteful. She said that we don't feel an iota of a regret. Well, let's go see what happens then, I guess. This is, man, you know, for someone who has like a knight sword and a shield, I am like doing like the most unknighting thing I could do right now. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Imagine if she actually takes it over. The pillories burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, 
but fortunately for you, the distance. Wait, so we're throwing ourselves <laughs> the power of spite. We're putting in everything we have. Just to spite her. Not even to save the world at this point. It's just so that she can't escape. Holy shit. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Thank you, Cold. Yes, it's just a body now. Yeah, but then you can't escape. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the next one we all go. One, two, three. Yeah, I think Contrarian will probably show up if, like, at this point in the next chapter. You throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body. I got achievements. <laughs> your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward. I didn't see it because swallowing I was kind of like being thrown into the moment there. But holy shit! A thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall and fall and fall. So when she escapes, that's when she manages to get to the um, what's it called, the outer area. Uh oh. Uh oh. But at what cost? Yes, we've really shown them all. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. Yeah, now what? We're kind of stuck what here. What happens now? But I want to know what he thinks happens. Now. Yeah, Nerd. Actually, yeah, Nerd. Are you got anything to say about this? Why? What do you know that you're Yeah, I want to know. Us? The more that like we avoid the ending, the more it gives us context as to who the narrator and the princess are. Wait, he left? Wait, he left? He didn't ruin it? That's it? That's the last time he- What? He actually left? Oh my god, he actually left us behind. Terminal velocity ceases and you feel something. A mass growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What is happening? Wait. Wait. Wait, she's escaping. This is the void. Wait, that means we're... Yeah, we're... we're, we're we, we got out. That means we're gonna lose... The voices. Damn, Jesus Christ. That is... That was really unpleasant for her. I feel kind of bad for her, honestly. <laughs> we, we did everything that entire route out of spite. Holy She's shit. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror. Why is it here? We why know now? why it's here, hero. Let's just go. The, the decay, I've withered. So I've grown and decayed. I feel really bad, honestly. <laughs> She still has that like uh, stab wound in her chest, like the last one did, because we stabbed her. It can't be a contradiction. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. When she stops talking, the hands close her mouth. Oh, you're right. That's pretty funny. Maybe because she's like so decayed that she can't even like keep it open on her own. What do you think of this vessel? 
This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She, she was so spiteful that she became fucking buff. <laughs> she drew. She stopped relying on the kindness of others so that she could pull herself out of the void. That's kind of crazy. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. We yeah, actually answered this one, answered this one, answered that one. All right. Let's go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. I forgot that that loud ass crash. Okay. Um, I don't know how many endings there are for this game, so I'll do like one more ending. You're on a path in. The yeah, my bad. Sorry, guys. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, we'll do one more ending, and we'll do you know yeah fine. We'll do the romance ending. We're not gonna subvert it, and if that doesn't end the game after that, then we'll save it for like next time, sometime later this week. Okay, let's just go. You make your way up the shore. Yeah, we'll we'll rescue we'll attempt to rescue her, but obviously will not be that easy. You guys we we we've been here for like four hours. We already we already know it's not gonna be that easy. The interior of the blade. Let's just go. I can fix her? Uh well the door to the basement creaks over. We've had four lifetimes to fix her and it's not it's not working. How many times do I have to Wait, really? You're here to rescue So yeah, this is her personality beforehand. Be Alright, let's just do it. Let's go rescue her. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> the narrator is gonna like come in and bite bite us in the butt or something like that. You're making a huge mistake. You're doing the right thing. Hero? I wonder who that secondary character is going to be for the hero. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. We can't l let They're her escape. Heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. What if we were supposed to bring the dagger down so that, you know, we could actually help her out? I'm guessing you don't have the key? Where's the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the She's gonna kill me instantly? Why though? We were actually helping her out. You have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Oh god. She's gonna rip off her arm, isn't she? She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Yeah, she we saw her we know what she's capable of. She ripped off her own arm. If we were stuck down here long I'm sure we'd be nonchalant the question is way out if it why didn't finally be free why didn't she just cut off her own arm like all this time you attempt to make your way out of the basement but the door at the top of the uh -oh. stairs uh -oh. is shut huh you hear the click of a lock sliding wait place. what is someone else here what your shouts and pleas wait what why did what silence. huh I'll repeat myself once again you here to you fucker the princess he and you won't he locked us down here task is done he fucking locked us down here you tried the door it's, it's the fucking the narrator side. oh my god you make your way to the bottom of the stairs this would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to I wonder if she'll actually like be helpful easier this time for whom easier for everyone Look at the mess you're in. I don't know. I'm like four lifetimes in. I'm, I'm pretty used to this at this point. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? It's not they. It's him. It's the narrator. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates oh before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing <gasps> through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Uh uh, what? Why? Why didn't she? Why didn't she do that before? As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you—the clang of bouncing.
announcing that. Maybe, maybe I should have brought the blade with me. No, I we're, we're committing to this. This is we're, we're committing to this. It's the blade from upstairs. Wait, the blade's here. Sure how it made its Fucking narrator. Here. Well, there you go. There's your blade, right? Now. All right. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Look, I am literally railroaded in because that's the only choice left. Fine. Against your better judgment. Oh my God! Her place the blade against the her mouth. Self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her. That's place. extremely detailed. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone. She is taking this. In str I mean, I know she's not human, but she's taking this all in stride. Her limb falls to the ground. And the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No. She didn't. She didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. I don't, guys. Arm guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's a romance route in here. How is she still smiling after I, everything? I, I don't it's think like she she's interested in us. Happened. I think she's just interested in only escaping. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. Oh, now you have omniscient powers. I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom what? stair, your body steps forward and raises what? the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. Wait, you can't you do, can't that? Just do that? What? Just watch me. What are you doing? Huh? What? No, 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 we're not. We're not slaying her. Stop that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck is happening? Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do I this, I know how right? this ends, guys. Guys, we've done this before. We know how, it, we know how it's gonna go. Your body lunges forward. The blade held We know how it's gonna go. To sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall. Fight the for your waifu? There's, there's no fighting. There's only one person we have to fight, and it's not her. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. That's not really ha that hasn't really hurt like worked so far, man. The blade. Move. I don't the want to. Blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance. It's the self staff princess takes a cautious. Don't step. stay away from me. We both know this. She's going to tell me to she's going to tell me to stab myself, isn't she? She oh. <gasps> hey, takes the wait a minute. From your infuriated wait a minute. Rigid hands. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I saw this in the trailer. I saw this in the trailer for on the Steam page. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into oh your chest, tearing through flesh well, and sinew. At least I didn't have to do a self stab. Agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Just, just don't miss next time. You, you kind of stab me in the stomach there. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake. Don't you start <laughs> pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Yeah. So why are you still here? Whatever. She sinks the blade. Oh, you're just being spiteful. Chest again and again and again. He is. Every extremely spiteful pain that slices its way into your body I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry it's okay just you got my lungs and my liver and you're missing literally everything but my heart she doesn't know how to use a knife, does yeah she? she she does she has no idea man apparently not though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is does it a stab wound is still a stab wound it won't be long before she should just stab me in the neck honestly that that you you bleed out in like less than a minute at that point <laughs> With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs Guys, unresponsive. I told you. The princess stares there is down no romance around her chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this. No, nope, it's definitely right. ending like this. Oh, that's rich coming from you. 
As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. Twenty-eight staff wounds still alive. I can walk it off. It's over. I made... I did it wrong? Even if I brought the, the knife in, he would have spawned the knife in and caused me to, like, stab her from behind. Everything goes dark. See you in round two. The damsel. This might be the last one, honestly. You're on a path. Hey, that wasn't woods. there before. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, the music's off again. Is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Turn around and leave? Oh, wait, no, yeah, figured. My tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We new just voice? Met for the first time. Was that really a new voice? I'm pretty sure that was her voice. If he doesn't remember that was the uh, amalgamation. Keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, oh, did God. He? If we're going to save our Oh, beloved, no. We'll oh, no. Oh, no. Us. No, 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 no. No, I can already tell. This guy is gonna be so fucking annoying. I can already tell. This guy's simping so hard. Oh, beloved. Oh, God. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. <laughs> oh, no. Then you should know that we and the princess <gasps> are in love. Oh, the God. All of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, yeah, you know, I, they said on the Steam page you drew regret trying to rescue the princess. I can see why. This guy, this guy. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Okay, we'll just see what happens here what then. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth Oh my it. god, this guy. <gasps> He is motivated. Okay, let's go. A warning. No, yeah, Before I know. She will lie. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. The only thing I know for sure, for certain, is that she is going to escape with her life in here. I think here. we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the He heart. says, they say my your own voice, are too great to but that's my voice. They must be expressed. The cabin does look a lot nicer, doesn't it? Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. It's kind of funny, even though this is really nice looking, the music's still really off. Check out the inside. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Wow, it's, it's so stone walls draped in fine threaded <gasps> tapestries. A prison befitting a royal. I knew it. Because we saw her the as a prisoner. Is an ornate wooden table as an actual princess. With a pristine blade perched on its edge. Take the blade? Why? It, taking the blade will not affect the ending for this one way or another. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, okay, we're gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the table. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing fucking knight, smitten, <laughs> what a fucking sword. jackass! Holy that way shit! She'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Hopefully, it doesn't put her on edge, and hopefully, it doesn't get turned on us. This music's so nice. Again. What the heck? Don't forget the knife. Yeah, you're actually, you're right. I guess no we can take the knife. arguing over motivations, right? It's good and this time we won't throw it away into the void to do your job you walk up to the wall next to the bed what are you talking about same thing same thing you reach gone and there was now it's gone pity we could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know <laughs> I, can't. I can't I can't with this guy I really can't all right let's just go The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate. It's stand. an actual Gold normal dungeon. Carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The yeah, we do have feathers. Seems welcoming in the dim fire. 
It really is like a normal castle dungeon. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably you see that her every fate. single time. That's lost all meaning. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello, is someone there? Is that her again? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful. I wonder how she's gonna look. Last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. Thank you. Oh my god, Hero, holy shit. You still do right by her without all this over the top fawning. Hero is actually like reeling it back a bit. That's kind of yes, crazy. For everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part I'm, of the I'm kind of on the same wavelength as a narrator right now. You walk down the stairs. Which is pretty. What the fuck? The princess. She's actually There's really a pretty. Chain around her wrist, like, prettier than last time. The far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your <laughs> unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear <laughs> you, right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh my God, Smin. Th this voice actor, I I gotta give him props. He is fucking amazing on like delivering every single character oh your spirit's plenty loud all right it's you my dashing hero i was so worried you wouldn't come back you know i just realized whenever i have the knife it changes my cursor if you guys if you guys haven't noticed yet do you hear that she said we're dashing if you don't have the knife then i think you're just like walking around with like a claw and she called us a hero Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to oh, incontrovertible he... evidence. He, he actually believes us now. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's it's hands remain unstained by cruelty. I would, I would, let's go see what happens. Let's go see what fucks up. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is the done. first. The first what? what Wait, matters the first what? Is you have a chance to do it right this time. We damned a whole world. Wait, what? Everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere uh -oh. else. Oh no! You can't keep hopping between worlds forever, especially not without leaving a trail of oh no devastation behind you. Oh no. We're not we're not time traveling guys. We've been dooming we've been dooming worlds nonstop. Horrible for you maybe, but we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady. The world just is. continues on. If, whether it gets fucked over or we just die. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue? Do right and kill her this time? That's not gonna work. We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. This, I mean, this route obviously will not work as easily as we all think because we know something's gonna get subverted. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Do I really have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for it last time. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh. Uh. You know, I think she's. I I think she's a bit. I think she's a bit broken, guys. She she's a bit brokey. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, Aren't we these won't hours unusually late for you? you see uh, just, just a little. Are. Just a little. We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Unless we believe it. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? That is actually kind of really weird. Really, really weird. Am I winning? Um, we killed the princess a total of four times so far. So, so technically, yes. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, 
smiling angel. <laughs> Fucking smitten. Right. Extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. She is really confident in talking literally nothing. But we just, before we start talking, did you end, did the world end? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Oh, she's this archetype. Okay, I get it now. She's she's this type of archetype. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word. No, she's not Moe. She's like... I don't want to say she's Yandere, but she's very, very extremely needy. Like, she needs to fulfill every need of, like, the main character. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. I'm sure there's a word for it. Yeah, she's skip- you know, sure, why not? She's skibbity. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow, painful ruin to them all. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been <laughs> left in the hands of a missing <laughs> Yeah, she's codependent, that's it. Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. Huh? Huh? Wait, huh? So... This is... This is... Con this is the truth? I'd point out that she just admitted to obliterating the entire world, but I guess that wouldn't actually move you. So, in the other route with the ghost, we found out that the narrator is like a glass shard, and in here, we find out that she actually does destroy the world. Oh, it moves me. Whatever we do next, we should do our best to not let her out. But have you seen her angelic face? <laughs> she should get a pass. She just wanted to make Or is she happy. yeah, right, he's not a glass shard. He's like literally less than a glass shard. And music is pretty poggers. By destroying the world. Apparently, yes. Well we've established that I am um, like a misanthrope, so I guess it would be more in my interest to save her, I guess. I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Did we? Did we? I I forgot. No, we didn't. We just stopped. We we tried to we tried to make it. We tried to slow down ourselves, but she just sort of like took the knife out of our hands and just stabbed us. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy, and make the best decision for everyone. Canonically, I think it would make sense to re release her because I just said that the world sucked and that I hope that everyone suffered. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. The glass shards are us. That's why the shattering sound happens when you go back into the loop. But that doesn't explain why we're a monster. I don't know why we are a monster. Sorry what happened last time. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. I know at this point I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even care if we killed her because she's just like it's just a people pleaser. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. We're a dragon as a princess? Are we really a dragon? That's because she's perfect. Do you think I wanna she see what her face looks like, like telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. No, we established that you are very similar to the princess. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him. That, that is true. Smin, for the first time I've listened to him, actually has a point. Alright, princess, let's get you out of here. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Yes. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain... Oh my god, Smin. <laughs> are we actually... Anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life with Wow, well, he's thought. committed in more ways than one. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? 
She's actually like really pretty in this version. <laughs> she actually was. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I wonder if we'll like actually look a bit better in this version. I can't believe it. I guess I have to. Because we believe that her hands are too dainty to like fit the shackle. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for also not killing me after all the other times you tried to kill me. Princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade is buried in her back and everyone out there is saved. Smitten might be the most powerful voice, honestly, all things considered. He managed to make the narrator bend to his will. Is that a threat? No other, no other voice was able to do that. You know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. All right, let's find out. What do we do now? Let's leave, I guess. What, actually, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. Simping wins after all? I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. <laughs> you may have it all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she He's doesn't gonna want say... to end the world? Wanting to end the world and actually ending the world are two completely different things. You're so gullible. It's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. Well, yes, because you've hidden the truth from me for the last five hours, four and a half hours. I think I want to leave. And I think... You want to go home? The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to get some burgers. I just want to make you happy. Oh. Okay. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. I mean, I, I, I want for her. So what if, of course, she'd want the same. Why is the music us? going weird? The, the music's getting really weird. Why? Why are her eyes so big? I just want to make you happy. Huh? Is she? Wait. Broken? Uh oh. What's going on? Uh, guys. What's going on is she's lying Wait. to you. Wait. Her? She isn't huh? a liar. What? You're starting to trust me now? Huh? Uh. Uh. I just want to make you happy. Uh. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this something tells me isn't some, right. Th this is something's a bit off. I fail to see the problem here. No, no. I think I want to. I want to know what's going on. Don't have to act like it's. Yeah, she, she's she's nice. No, no, it's fine. Uh, you just meet me. You surely. I want to make you unhappy. Okay, if that's what makes you happy, I can make you unhappy. <laughs> what is going on? Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the they all lived happily ever after. It's all, wait, guys, I think the world ended. Guys? 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 The background, guys? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. Love is fleeting. Not all love can be, can be you know, fulfilled. Some love will always stay unrequited. No. She was our perfect match. <laughs> you were so close to walking out the door and you... She's gone. Where did she go? Oh, I don't know. Something was a bit Should off. Something try was and find her? a little bit off. Is that a... Why is it here? What? Uh. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Do it then. End us all before oh I son. die of a broken heart. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad, Smith. You're, you're like depressed. I don't blame you, man. You push the mirror. Let's go see what it looked like. The remains. You've unraveled. Unraveled? What? Here we are. This is... This is it. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it.
I like how she's still like a paper, a paper thing. It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. That's not, that's not very healthy. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. I don't know how I feel about that. That's not... I don't think that's a good thing. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. There's a lot more to life than just dedicating yourself to one person. You know what's gonna happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. You think anything that out there is real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. That and should be every single that, route then, right? Nothing can't exist. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me. One of them is... Wait. Yeah, who is the narrator? No. Their minds are empty. Existent. But constantly shifting into something There new. were five? Really? I Do you were... think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I think those five princesses were dependent on how you approached their princess in the beginning. He does. But you're gonna keep that to yourself. It's nice to be with someone whose thoughts I can never know as mine. One. One more? Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. What's the last one that we have to do then? Multitude. I don't I don't know another any other route we could take. This is the last time. Is there anything you'd like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation. You've already tried waiting. But I understand. Will this crash my game? Okay. Never mind. This will definitely crash my game if I do that. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. It's fucking 6 a.m., but yeah. I, I will be here. Sure, why not? Waiting for you. I guess I'm getting like. Yeah. I have to like stop forgetting how that happens. Be bring the deconstructed You're damsel. On a path in the wood. Okay. That's the spirit. What can we do? You make your way up a warning. Before she will lie. How come she that will cheat? How come she that? She will do everything in Wait. her power to stop you from slaying. Was that cabin always looking like that before? Don't believe a word. She's I don't remember. Did it always look like by default? Doctor, well, the interior of the cabin is. It doesn't matter what we do because there's no other choice. It, it's it's gonna railroad us into the last route no matter what. No, we did. We left her. Door to the left her out. Creaks uh. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. So it's gonna be like a different version of her, right? You walk down oh, the it's gonna be the sad version. Eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. Bind. She's beautiful. I am begging you to. Hi. Uh, examine the chains. You're only making this more. Thank you. You know, you're doing. They're large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Doubtful. I'm going to go up the stairs. Oh right, this one. All right, let's go up the stairs. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt oh wait, no, he locks it. The Is someone a Turn to the stairs. You make your way easier for who? <gasps> wait a minute. I have to stab her, don't I, with the dagger? Easier for everyone. Yeah, with I'm gonna have to stab her with the. the There's a slight. If I could just get up. She barely. Does she rip? I, I don't like that. Or you won't. <sighs> That'll be different. Play the princess well? Is that really... I actually don't know. Kill Lovey? Alright. 
Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. This is definitely different. This is 100% different. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me uh -oh. this whole time? Th that's not good. The princess pushes away from you. What? The motion ripping the blade from her back. But I stabbed her in the heart. What? Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy. Wait, is and this still the same? In the world no, there's no way. Possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. Oh no, don't say that, hero. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. Don't, narrator, I also don't trust I'm you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. Oh. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs. Oh, God. Animal she's turning into an animal. She, she's definitely turning into an animal. Your knife cuts into her again, and again as you're tackled to the ground. Your body wraps Holy with shit. as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. He should honestly just say that, like, you know, well, I mean, I guess we did kill her immediately, remember? We killed her, but then we were like, D is she actually dead? And then she came back to life. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Give up? I can give up? finish the job wait i have choices here wait what what happens if i just give up finish the job <laughs> all right we'll finish the job then you steal your resolve and to take another step closer to the princess you probably won't make it out of here alive but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here. Excuse me? What is about not making it out of Wait, here? Wait, what? Alive? Actually, yeah, excuse me? What? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation. No. Honestly, no. Honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing. You have been not objective. So can you not feel all those gashes? Oh my Holes god, you're... He's literally just the brainwashing us. Do you in here. Blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you Double kill. is able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both. You so she's going to be more animalistic anyway. in the next one? Well, what's going to happen? I wonder who our second voice is going to be. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Silence, as the room starts to get No, she's got a point. We've... We... That was kind of a dick move, not gonna lie. We... We were... We came down there pretending to be a friend and we just backstabbed her. That's really kind of fucked up. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Thanks, narrator. Everything goes down. Can dark. always count on you to screw me and over. Die. Yeah, we literally backstabbed her. Oh, shit. I don't like that. You're on a path. You're here to... I'm pretty sure I slew the princess, but I also got killed. I can assure you that if he doesn't remember what happened, brilliant. Opportunist. Our cards close to our chest. Opportunist. I'm not sure we can trust him. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be this guy. We're gonna take every opportunity and chance we can get to use it to our advantage. Let's go see how this turns out. You know I can hear you, right? 
Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Alright, let's do it then. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Can't believe Beryl is dead. I've died many times this entire stream, Dante. You have no idea. <laughs> Way too many times. So what's up, Dante? Thanks for dropping by. We're doing well. It's... Oh my god, it's 6am. I'm, I'm gonna be the so dead. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic huh? weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf. I can already with a tell blade perched on its edge. The opportunist will be looking for every opportunity to get like an edge over everyone else. The blade is your implement. Alright, let's take it. You take the blade from the shelf. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to oh know what <laughs> It's kind of fucked up, honestly. Just like, you know, we gotta go on every advantage we can get over the princess to kill her immediately before she can even, like, get a chance to respond. That's not actually a bad idea. Let's just... let's go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin I thought it should be more like a, a you beast, barely penetrate the but they said it would be a witch, so I'm kind of interested in seeing opening below. what might happen. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw, waiting her appearance? to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Man, you really just love saying that line, her don't voice you? Skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Okay, thoughts. Okay, is she gonna be more beastly or is she gonna be more like a witch? I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. Oh yeah, no I am. I'm... I, I did... I did kind of do the really bad thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not the same person, I'm someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. You can't. Unless Damn, you, you guys are her down right bad for this version of the princess. The end of the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to I say? Like, I like with big no, decisions. No, no. I, I actually, he's got a point. Let's go see. Maybe the witch will give us a better, a better opportunity than the narrator. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? I do have a nice... I mean, well, the voice, the opportunist, does have a nice sounding voice. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. I will do that exact thing. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. Whoa. You descend the basement steps. All right, well, you guys are all freeze now. I hate to admit... I hate to tell you this, but... This it just be how this is how it be. This is what you fell for. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. She is an actual like furry. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. That's okay, I do like her design though. How would she know that? I think I like this design the best one out of everyone else. It's very fitting for like her character. So we've dropped the pretenses. Yeah, she's extremely Good. smug. You made a <laughs> the cat face. She's got the cat face. Here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. No, I just like her personality. 
I think this is the only version of the princess whose personality I like because we we both know why we're down here and we're not really hiding anything about it. There's no reason to be like, you know, weird about it. Oh no. You've already been here, haven't you? Yes, finally. I just said that before. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. No, you are already aware of that. We already know that you're aware of that. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even shared if you're not part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Is that what they're calling it now? Is it all like... Are all the truths like their own independent truths? I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Our knife is behind us. Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now. So Your world? It if you would take this no, he doesn't care about us. It's just like, you know, his world. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. You know that's not the true case, opportunist. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. She is extremely smug. Look, I made a mistake. We all made mistakes. I'm pretty sure you made mistakes too. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. The only mistake I ever made was thinking you would help me. And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Okay, that's understandable. We did stab her in the back through her chest. Well, that leaves us at a stalemate. But unfortunately, ugh, I need you if I'm ever going to leave this place. What's in it for me? Don't worry, the blade isn't for you or not for killing you. Uh, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder it, than it that. It was a, it was a good joke. We both died last time. Yeah, can we just? It's we're both even now, aren't we? You were the one who stabbed me in the back when I was still in chains. A dirty little thing like you doesn't get to decide when all is fair. Well, okay. Give it. Put it this way: Who is it right now that has the power to leave, and who is stuck down in their chains? I'm just saying. I don't see how this benefits me in any way. I know I get the feeling you're gonna stab me in the back if I help you out of here. And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? I'm just saying, I I'm an opportunist, and I feel like you are too. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. You technically lost when you hit her with a sneak attack and still tied. And she's also still tied to the wall too, if you think about it. So she was also, like, slow on mobility. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. Oh, so he's the one that's, like, watching our back. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine, because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world. The you know? cafes. Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. Yeah, she'll only stab us in the back after we leave. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. Symbolically. See? He gets it. As in, like, destroy the world after we leave? One. I guess I'll cut you out of here. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. The princess grins as the chains fall from huh? her wrist. Huh? 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 Wait. Wait. She she just bit us down here? She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. Yeah, she's really... I, I guess we're both playing our cards, putting our cards on the this table here. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Stop her with what? What do you want me to do? Okay, you know what? I believe in equal opportunity. So you know what? Last time, 
we had the blade. I think it's only fair that we give her the blade this time. You... You can't be serious. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. No, it'll be fine. Trust me. I, I know what I'm doing. We should put this to a vote. This is... <laughs> As do I. Alright, that's a no. That's a no. I, uh... Abstain. Abstain? You abstain. She's going to kill us if Hero we give it to her. Hero is playing on the fence, and you can't do that when, you know, you are literally a voice in the head. This isn't a democracy. I know what I'm in charge of. Yeah, You're here's going the blade. To get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you do. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Toss the blade at the princess's feet. Yeah, I'll be fine. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? Why did we do that, actually? Why is that an option? Why were we like, you know what? Let's go give her the knife. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. Don't they have a hero sent a hero without severe mental issues? Um, I am not even human, by the way, so that's not an option. What do you think happens now? He really is, like, a furry. Goddamn. That's why- that's up to you. It's why I gave you the blade. I chose last time and I regret it, so now it's your time to choose. What if I just remain silent? I could just remain silent. I kind of want to see what happens if I just remain silent. You and the princess share a knowing look. And then she buries the blade in your hmm. heart. So this is how it ends. What? No. No, come on, that's not right. I told you. I <laughs> told you. <laughs> it's okay, we get another chapter. We get chapter three now. Lee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. Hey, I'm doing this for you guys. You guys said you liked her, so now we're gonna see the, th the third chapter version of how she's gonna turn out. I did it! I got you! You... you... The princess seems to tremble, her smile fading hmm. quickly, replaced with concern. Hmm. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. It's almost like... It's almost like revenge... Doesn't make you feel better in the end, huh? Why? Why did you let me do this? You, you did this. You chose this. But you don't have the strength to respond. Nor do you have the time. Everything I... goes dark, and you die. Now we're even. Now we'll see what happens. And your power to a suspicious character, past life gambit. You're on a path Whoa. in the woods. She's of course she stabbed us. Wait, we was that the blade, which I might add, I voted against. Voices, voice of the cheated. <laughs> okay. But the whole point was that she wasn't supposed to do that. The whole point of giving her the blade was to oh, that's why I did the cycle it. of violence, and she just, she just killed us anyway. I guess it really doesn't matter if she killed us, though, right? We're back well, here, which means that so she killed fine. us. We killed her. Fine, now she killed us. I think I have. I think I'm entitled to kill her this time, just to make it even. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. Maybe that's all it'll take to show her that there's another way to do things. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. A five chapter run. Give what another try exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you, right? Like that changes anything. We all know- The game is rigged. <laughs> the game was rigged from the start. This time. I'm sure he'll find a way to turn us against you. That is true. The narrator never really like Great. cares. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice, for actually. Sure. Twice. <sighs> then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. That's true. I wonder if she'll like remember the fact that like we did that. This place is different. Wonderful. The woods themselves are changing, and that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean. I wonder how many chapters you, you can go in. In turn, likely means her influence is spreading. 
Someone's in the know. It's like a Wildlands, isn't it? I've had enough of these annoying little secrets. If you want us to do this, you have to let us in on your game already. All of your Maybe game. the further you get for the chapters, the more subcontext that you get for the entire story. I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't we know, we know if we think about it, Frida it influences how she is. Don't even think about her. It influences reality. Good playing both sides. sides. That's what smart people do, and you're the smartest in the room. I think there's a path where you just unlock every single like voice in your head, and it'd be very, very, very annoying. I'm not sure it counts as playing both sides if people can hear you doing it. Buddy, you're thinking in far too few dimensions. There's layers to doing this right, and I'm pretty sure the one making the choices gets that. Trust in the plan. I don't know. I wouldn't trust me considering i did a really stupid idea Trust last in what plan last run the decider's plan sure we don't know what the plan is yet but that's part of the whole trusting thing isn't it a good leader knows how and when to keep things secret and sometimes a good leader even knows to keep things secret from himself. himself man i'm so smart even i don't know what i'm doing half the time sure we'll see what she has to say for herself don't forget that whatever she says is likely just as much lies as what he's been telling us. We should keep our cards close to our chest. I mean, that doesn't really do much considering he knows what we're if saying. If I you, I'd remember what she's done. You know how dangerous she is. You should know that someone like her shouldn't be let loose upon the world. I mean, we've never even seen what she can do. All she's done, all we've done so far is just kill each other. What do you want me to say? It's bad that you've been here before. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, and it's especially bad for the world. The more times you run through this, the more likely it is that you'll fail. You've already failed twice. That's actually true. The more you fail, the more we fail, the more likely we are to keep on failing just to see what it offers, you know? So you knew this could happen? Theoretically, sure, I knew this could happen, but I was supposed to be the first. I'd really rather not get into it. Ray! Not even he really seems to get Oh god, narrator doesn't even know what's going on anymore. The guy who goes around acting like he knows all the rules doesn't even know how this works. What's the point in listening? We could leave peacefully this time? I mean, we could. We could try. I don't know if it'll, it'll work. Then we can all move on. And forget what I said about failure. It's important that you believe in yourself. And the fact you're here probably means that you still have a chance to pull this off and save the world. My world sounds like you've probably doomed a couple of others already. We're more likely... We're too scared of her to be able to believe we can kill her. That's true. I don't know if we're too scared of her. I don't know what we believe in anymore, honestly. I need to stop talking. The cheater feels Think like... Happy thoughts. The cheater is probably feeling very betrayed about it right now, so maybe she'll be like... I don't know what, like, you could feel from her what you'd be like all right let's just go it isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin i think it's clear where everyone stands at this point confused you think she'll be confused i don't know if i'd say i wonder what she'll look like you talking about me i have a position it's a good one too ignore him he's just talking for talking's sake my position is the only one that matters you know what you have to do you're just saying that filling equals more likely to believe we're powerless equals we're powerless. But what if you just keep on going through the chapters until like the very end? There has to be a limit to how many chapters you can go through, right? You took, amends to make, you took steps to make amends for stabbing her in the back. Try and finish that. We'll see what happens. The interior of the cabin is Whoa. hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned <laughs> like how we saw the cabin and it just like broke on the shape of the structure that once stood here charred wood still reeking of ash but beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain the promise of new life in the wreckage of the old so the charred remains is like us killing her or, or like backstabbing her and then the new life is her like regret or like trying to make amends after what happened I'm assuming the only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table a pristine Wait, wait. Huh? Is it right? This is supposed to be a pristine blade. 
So why isn't there a pristine blade? When we tossed away the chap the the void knife, the knife in the void, that didn't have any impact. I guess in chapter three. Wait, gave it the Oh, you're right. We gave it the knife. We we gave it to her last time. Oh shit, you're right. She can't still have it, can she? Well, it's not here. And if she has Well, it, we lost any opportunity to try to kill her with the knife. Let me guess. You wanna get all chummy with her. As far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. It's just the smart thing to do. She'd be very dumb to like, oh, she's probably gonna give us back the knife and then it'll be our choice to decide what to do with it. I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. Your way of, of like having it work doesn't exist anymore. Your preconceptions of how the story goes doesn't exist anymore. Of course we don't get to make a choice about the blade. Every single time we come back here, something has to be different. That's true, it's always changed every single time. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. Might as well take a look while we can. There's nothing else to do here now that the knife has been taken from us. The mirror's gonna disappear again, isn't it? reach forward yep. and wave your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. What are you doing? Figures. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement oh, are covered all in a fine out. of gritty ash. Oh, God. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. Even if I kill her, you're just gonna trap me down here either way, man. I'd say this feels like a trap, but you practically said as much. Yet you still want us to keep going. They're only thorns. I'd say getting a few scratches in exchange for the lives of everyone in existence is a fair trade. I'm sure you'll manage. I like how he didn't say, like, we're doing her a favor from killing her, like, in this weird vine area. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? We kill each other, and you come back. You let me kill you, and you come back. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. I just want to talk. Really talk. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here, and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. This is like a really somber version of her, isn't it? You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was oh, once shit. a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars. No, she's kind of she's kind of like tired of everything, man. I don't blame her. With hostile vegetation. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess. Her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Hey, that's my blade. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? I'm stuck in here just as much as you are, if not longer. Can turn and leave. I don't think turning and leaving will really do much. Let's go see what happens if we just explore. Careful now. I'm the one with the knife. Yeah, but you're also stuck down here. Of course I thought there might be bad blood. I didn't think I could trust you then, and it looks like I was right. Because I definitely can't trust you now. I guess this is what I deserve. What we both deserve. I'm out. Whatever you do, don't let her out of there. It's not going to end well for anyone. Hey, hey, welcome. To the winning team. Oh, can it, will you? I'm not happy to be here. This is just the only move that was still worth making. That's such a weird voice, a voice of the cheated. 
No, we're past that. You and I both know words are hollow. Figures. I wouldn't trust her, so why would she trust us? You're the one who got us here. If you weren't doing so much scheming, maybe we could have formed a genuine connection. Maybe we could have fixed things. Aren't we? What? Huh? But we were we were the one that stabbed her in the back. I think there are a lot of other people worth pointing fingers at before you go blaming me. I'm just looking out for our best interests. Did you forget she stabbed us last time? Yeah, but she was justified in that. Game's over. We shouldn't have pushed her so hard. Give it up and leave her here. It's not like she can go anywhere on our own. I'm not falling for it. Reach for the if I reach for the blade, she's probably gonna stab us, isn't she? Be careful. Uh, funny, funny thing enough is, within the context of the game, having that up here is probably like way worse. I'm not even way worse. There's a lot worse stuff that appeared in the game than just having her top fall off. But yeah, within the context of Twitch, yeah, that'd be really bad. You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence. If you still want to wallow in it, please leave. Please be my guest. Do you really think you can just wash your hands of all of this? Do you really think you can just leave me here? Wait, I got an achievement. This is even better than stabbing her. The same reward without any of that nasty effort. It's not even better. Putting off a choice is always worse than making a committed decision, especially when you- I got an achievement for abandoning answer. her in her own prison. Almost feels like we're as bad as the powers that be. Is that all I think really we're going to- are we going to chapter four? Oh shit. Tyrant, a single ounce of control. It sure feels like it. She looks so sad. Bleeding. Alive. I didn't think that would actually make her leave. I thought we that would just, just like- back on her. I thought that would only like make her come back or- we come back. Oh, stop trying to bring morality into this. There are winners in life and there are losers. I don't know. Matters is that right now, we've decided to be a winner. I actually didn't mean to do that one. But as you approach the basement uh -oh. stairs, you make a grim realization. The thorns won't let you leave. We don't have any way to cut through them. Okay, new plan. We re-befriend the princess, get the blade, and all of us leave here together as friends. I don't... I think we're past that opportunist. You can't leave without me, can you? Isn't that funny? Isn't that so funny? This is perfect, actually. Just you and me rotting down here forever. Together. <laughs> you know, just to make sure things are a little more permanent, I think I'm going to take this particular needle out of the picture. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? She wouldn't. It's only fair. We were going to leave her with no way out. Please return in the kindness. Yeah, but I chose to let her stab me. Thorns Wait, slice what? into the princess's hands, lacerating what little skin remains as she raises the blade to her mouth. Wait, what? Take it. Take it now before she swallows it out of spite. Wait, what? Uh, what? Dude, she is really fucking hardcore. I really don't know what I can do. I can rush for the blade. Like, I'm gonna go back. I mean, I'm just saving every single time just to be safe, you know, just in case the game crashes. We'll see what happens. You stand in place among the thorns. Oh inert, god, that does not look. Merely watching as the princess swallows your only way out of this. Place. That does not look good. That does not look healthy. She actually did it. Oh, it's ending. She's better at this game than we are, but we're all losers now. Nobody it's wins. Ending. She wins if she gets what she wants, and it looks like what she wanted was this. Blood trickles down the corner of her mouth. Then flows from the twilight. Well, I guess we're not going to be here forever. She smiles. There. Isn't this just perfect? Uh. Ugh. She's gone. Well, that was Where it. did she go? And there's that mirror again. Let's just go. Approach the mirror. See what we look like now. Nothing? I'm nothing? 
That isn't right. It can't be nothing. Wait, what? What are you? What? I think you know. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? So you're the narrator? The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. Wait, a crow? But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Huh? That's really loud. Really loud. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Oh, I'm losing all my questions. Oh shit. What? What is the? Yeah, who is the princess? No, wait. What am I? You're the long quiet. The, the god? god I made to rid the world of death. Huh? Yeah, this is a bit loud. So I'm. You guys should probably keep this in mind. It's gonna crack again. I'm sorry. Well, no. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Wait, who are you? Oh, well, I have a limited amount of questions, but I think I can ask as many as I want. A god? Am I really a... I don't want to be a god. I, for a god, I've been kind of shoehorned into doing shit I can't even do normally. You are you. And if you would let everything work the way it was supposed to, you never would have woken up to the reality of your true nature. There's no accounting for free will. Others like you, you've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both thought your myself consciousness dead? and hers into another world. I, hers? But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Okay. What is the princess, actually? I want to know what she is. She is the shifting mound, the huh? ebb and flow. The capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die. She becomes that which others perceive her to be. Okay, so yeah, we we figured that was things, uh, not in the way how it was supposed can. to be. Her perception, our perception of her changes what she actually is. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. If you, were, if you made this, then I want you to know that this has been torture. The inevitability of death is torture. I would gladly put two infinite beings through what you've been through to spare infinite lives from oblivion. If I destroy- yeah, won't I be alone if I destroy her? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Uh, God, there's so many questions. Oh fuck, I'm running out of questions. Yeah, why would you want to rid the world of death? If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. But you've literally made me simulate death over and over again across millions. I think you're out of time. I think I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I think I'll see what she has to th think about all of this. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. 
Goodbye, Mr. Crow. You see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. It's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. When you're at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness. There is nothing for you to find. Oh! Huh? Oh sh- Huh? I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've... I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Do you know what the echo? Did you hear about the conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. But we were created to stop death? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Can we really just leave? Yeah, we, there's like a lot of stories that we kind of missed out on. Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Yeah. Why is this falling all on me? Don't you have, like, any opinion on your own about this? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. It's still kind of weird. So we're a god and she is literally just a concept. And if I kill her, I'm killing the concept of death, I believe. Yeah, what was the point of all this if it all led to the same road? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. For a god, I'm very and humanistic. you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence oh. and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Wait, what? Wait, what? A thought is a vine, and some thoughts nurture huh? thorns huh? that bleed the soul, and endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. When I succumbed to myself, you left me to rot. And in your abandonment, the two of us were bound in our suffering Wait. together. Huh? A painful eternity, but one that is only unceasing if you remove what happens next. That was the last one we did for her, the thorn, right? I won't engage with violence, because violence never resolved anything. Don't you- Wait, huh? When you did this. But violence has defined the flow of everything between us. Do not deny what we are, and do not color our conflict with fear. Wait, oh shit. Your lover tries to stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. 
Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? That's the... That's... Wait, this is her point of view. Love melted into skepticism, and you pulled back layer after layer after layer, until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. These are, yeah, these are all her memories. You sought the truth, then. Will you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? Step to fight early and no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to hide from the truth. I still want to figure out what's what's going on. Then don't. Leave with me. There's no need for you to fight what we are. Not until you see things from my perspective? If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. If she crashes my game again, I'll be really pissed off. Oh, oh shit. I wonder if like the ending or like this fight, quote unquote fight, is different depending on like how many combinations you've done. What force did she choose in your death and forfeiting your body? You chose agency. But agency requires action. And action requires endless tapestry of events. In your final moments, did you remove action itself from reality? Yeah, we're, go we're going backwards from our runs. Say with certainty what a shape a world would take without you will take. I don't that world come to pass. You give me much choice. You didn't give me much choice. And yet still you chose. To be capable of change is to be capable of choice. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, as cold as the grave dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet, they do not return it. This is the one where I killed her, but I helped her out afterwards. I offer you a path to your redemption, and you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. Redemption, there can be no sin. And without contrast, there can be nothing at all. I'm kind of glad that the last one was the react collapsing realities, because that's the most crazy badget one. Unless they're. Are you starting to see? Oh, they're not going to show it. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. What do you think happens when we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. It's easy to believe in things you believe in when all you get, you get to sit above it all. I kind of wanted to see what, what her reaction would have been about the collapsing realities, but I guess that wasn't really like a choice. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. I didn't think that would actually been that would have been a choice for an ending, but I guess we'll take that. Either way, I don't agree with the crow on ending death because life is supposed to be, you know, 
ethereal. It's not supposed to last forever. If you keep on... If you keep on living, it defeats the whole purpose of having a fulfilling life. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel sensation and limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, a twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. I love you. Maybe you're right. Maybe the first one shapes the body of the vessel. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. What? Wait, huh? Life? You are free? She is with you. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. So we literally just made life continue. I guess that's fine. I'm, I'll accept that ending. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets. Each of which contains a thousand more. It's just a never-ending loop. You exist, you are aware, just as you always been, just as you always will be. Conflict is in your nature. Two of you will never be alone. Two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. There are no endings, only new beginnings. That's the achievement I just got. Well, that's it. That was Slay the Princess, which I imagine have a crazy amount of endings, and we only got one of many. Made the universe sound like an egg, but which one came first? Well, I mean, I guess if you wanted, uh... If you wanted to become a god and date the eldritch being that is the concept of life, there's, <laughs> there's our choice, I guess. Imagine if the game just uninstalls itself. I'd imagine that maybe it does on a certain ending. Finish the game. The good ending doesn't count. Here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by pressing H. So this is everything that we got, right? This is all the choices that we made so far that ended up into this this ending. There's another game. Let's check that out. Well, slay the princess. <laughs> that was extremely meta, I'd say. And then it got really weird with the concepts of everything at the very end. But <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. It was an it was an adventure. It was an adventure that lasts until 7 a.m. I'm gonna have four hours of sleep and I'm gonna fucking die. That was my soundtrack for this full run. Uh, I should have. Oh, well, I'll listen to it later if it's saved. <laughs> um, let's see who is up right now. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's go raid into CC. I think she's currently playing Spooky's house. So if you guys want to have some spooky fun times feel free to check out CC because I need to go pass out I need to like pass out I need to pass out so badly man you have no idea thank you for the stream thanks for coming thanks for for anyone and everyone that came in like in the middle of the raid in the middle of the raid in the middle of the game or from a raid or if you were here from the start thank you all for sticking around to the very end it was pretty cool I liked it a lot it was definitely existential, to a degree. Alright. 
we will check out CC. You guys take care of yourselves, and we will probably see each other in the next one. <laughs> I'd say. Oh god, dude, I'm so tired. I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want, feel free to check out the game. It's called Slay the Princess. It's very, very open-ended in terms of the endings and your routes, and I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I missed out on that you guys can probably check out for yourself. Yeah, that'll do it. I, if you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Uh, if you like, it really helps me out. And if you want to keep up with my schedule, I usually stream between 12.30... No, 11.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. PST. <laughs> no, I don't want to... <laughs> Fine, you know what? I, 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 I don't know, man. I, I don't know what our raid message will be. Uh, I, I got no idea. So... <laughs> Uh, well, CC is a princess, so there we go. Princess raid. That'll be our raid message. All right, I'll see you guys around. Good night.